and we're live. Woo! Welcome everybody to the finale of Candle Keep Mysteries. We're gonna jump right into it. And uh, and uh, and finish off this little this little story that we've been telling for a while. So where we left off, Candlekeep Confidential were fighting the battle of their lives. The final showdown with Makthum Nagatha took place at a. Uh, floating mountain in the middle of a dark void which then teleported and were transported to hovering above the great library fortress of Candlekeep where its many denizens gathered in the court of air to uh, watch this clash occur in the skies many things happened during this battle a uh, rift opened to the uh, uh, to the astral plane. Many grand and heroic deeds were performed by you. And near the end, one of you, one, one among your rank lay fallen as Peachy met her end to Macham Nagatha. But once you delivered the final blow and uh, destroyed the great uh, old one, Titavilnius, the archdevil, uh, the uh, architect behind the entire clan departed with uh, a little remark that uh, they used necromatic uh, technology or necromatic uh, magic to bring uh, Maktham Nagatha back into this form and that the only way and, and, and that this meant that he essentially functions like a lich and that they have a living phylactery still walking, and you concluded that phylactery to be Hilltopple. So, with that said... With that said, the uh, fortress has uh, crashed and uh, landed in the cent... Uh, the, um, the island, the, the place where you battle, has now crashed and landed in the centre of the Court of Air. Many stunned, uh, avowed, are surrounding this, uh, surrounding this uh, little mountain in awe at what has just occurred. But they seem to be waiting for you guys to descend. Meanwhile, the three of you are up there on this mountain. What do you do? While uh, while Horizon was sassing Dita Vilnius, uh, 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 Folkesh was like trying to like kind of pick up the body of Peachy, but it's probably not strong enough, so he's kind of just awkwardly dragging Peachy. <laughs> it's like we've got the spells for it, but you know, reincarnate can come with some downsides. I think she'd rather just be alive, you know. Can try and work through the side effects. Just Maybe. bring it back! Alright, fucking hell! With a poker on the forehead with my ring of spell stories. And cast reincarnate. <laughs> I don't know, she might come back weird. <laughs> She's already delightfully <laughs> and weird. And you're not weird? Yeah, but I'm not dead this time. I came back. You are dead! No, but no. <laughs> I already cast it, I'm just waiting. <laughs> like magic shit's happening, we're just arguing. So. You are casting reincarnate. Reincarnate. Okay. Um, Peachy. Peachy. For the past uh, couple of minutes, you have been stood in a tall hexagonal chamber, beautifully decked out as a cathedral. A grand set of double doors stands open, gaping towards uh, the vistas of Mount Celestia. And three <laughs> angels are hovering before the door. Oh, I don't know. Oh, and I don't everyone know goes, that. look, we've been over this. <laughs> <laughs> what, what else can we say to make this any more appealing yeah, to you? Yeah, but what you guys just said, you 
don't have money. I think I've been pretty fucking clear. We, what do I get out of this deal? We have no need for monetary exchange. Well, then for I our have worth no is need measured to want to be in Jesus Christ. What do you need shit? money for? To Everything buy is free. I have things I need to get. I need oh, to get jewelry. My God. And I need oh. to get pastries. <laughs> And I need to get things, you look, know? Look, we've and got, I need cash, look, I need to look, hoard it, and I need to get no, a little no, trinket no, boxes. No, no, you and you see, the no, thing no, no, is no, no, that no. I need very specific We live on deeds. Kind of <laughs> we live on glories. <laughs> uh, but I don't polish hooves, you guys. I'm sorry. It's really hard to get the right kind. I can't wear shoes, and I don't want them looking gross. It takes like at least half an hour. Oh, 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 thank heavens. Look, there is a portal. Someone is bringing you back to life. You should probably go through that one. Oh my god, it's been so nice chatting. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah. So, like, what? Well, you know, do you guys, do you come here often? Like, see you again? Or. We walk this place until eternity, until the stars have turned cold. Oh, I'm so sorry. Well,. If you need, you know, if you need someone to spice things up, you know, like a fight or something, just call me. I'm not going in there. That doesn't sound very really fun. But, like, you know, we can hang or something. Okay, I'm going to go. I don't want this to close. But, like, I hope you understand. We changed the course great. of history with our immortal breath. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Cool. Anyway, like, I've got to go. taking a bit longer than normal. <laughs> Death, she just wants to speak to its manager. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I renamed Peachy Karen, that's it. Oh, oh my stars. <laughs> so. <laughs> Are we hearing an echo? No, we that's me. Yeah, we're <laughs> <talking. laughs> okay. Never gonna turn off. No, I don't really Um, so. Um. <laughs> Make a uh, Catherine. Make uh, make a make a D one hundred for Shaggy. D one hundred. Yes, roll a D one hundred, and we'll see if if uh, there is um, we'll see what what happens with this reincarnation. And the other one. And the other one. Yeah. The D one. <laughs> yeah. yeah. We did this during Ice Vendell. I was like, what other time? <laughs> yeah. I don't. I'm confused. Oh. Yeah. Thirty. That's correct. Yes. Yeah. Thirty. Yep. Thirty. Thirty, bang on. Thirty. Okay. 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 Fuck me up. <laughs> oh my god. So, um, for the audience, who are taking a leave of absence at the moment, apparently, um, we are slightly redefining the uh, reincarnate spell because it's the end of the campaign, and uh, there's no, not much point in. Be nice to me. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> <clears throat> um. Yay. But <laughs> hello, Paladin. Hey, Paladin. Um. Okay. <laughs> so, the three of you <laughs> have been uh, look, standing over Peachy's body. You've been using this ring to channel this energy into her, like this. This these long. <coughs> Light green and yellow strands appear from out of the ring and kind of envelop her body as a gentle embrace. And then That's suddenly they just the foom, disappear oh. and you start back to life. <laughs> oh, he's gone, okay. Well, yeah, oh, I'm yeah, back! We're going to bring you back in the middle of it. Oh! Well, well, it also takes a minute. Did you kill it? Yes. Oh, I'm good. good. For now. Kind of. It's, oh. kind of a, it's a thing. How are you doing? I mean, like, I'm a little bit sore. Um, uh, you know, my head doesn't feel great. But, like, considering, I think I feel pretty good. I could use, like, a painkiller and then maybe a nap. <coughs> and then I think we're good to go. We could probably, might probably arrange that. Yeah. Do we know it's anything different about Peachy? 
Uh, no, you don't. But Peachy, you feel a little bit different. You um, think that through this spell, you've been touched by the life, the the, the immortal soul of uh, of another creature who was alive and, uh, and and lived on this earth and who died. Um, you suddenly feel a little a little more refined in your tastes. You suddenly feel. Like you want to listen to some fine music or take in some fine art, uh, and you understand it a little bit better now because you're suddenly quite cultured. Uh, you reckon you might have this uh, little element of the spirit of a high elf living in your in your brain. Therefore, I then swift think that we should <laughs> <laughs> hurry us back. A little, still, still too much peachy. Are you okay? Then. Yeah. You sure? I'm feeling positively river, 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 It's definitely still people. <laughs> <laughs> Riveting. Yeah. Maybe. I don't know, you never know what that word. Did you, did you swallow a dictionary while you were on the other side? Maybe. They were trying to make me just go into a place without making a contract. I don't think that's a very good deal maker. Who? Like, you know, the people with the wings. Oh yeah, they're pushy, aren't they? They're so pushy! They're I was really like, pushy. dude, you're not even gonna give me anything in return. That fucking sucks. I don't wanna do that. It concerns me that so many of us have this in common. Yeah. I didn't see any fucking people with wings. Oh, I, bummer. Yeah. I think that says more about me. <laughs> I'll catch you here, little boys. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Fulkish, I think the ship's all sail on it. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> you're the... Yeah, you're... Wow, three out of four. Fucking hell. Uh-huh. Are you saying that we should even the, even the No, I'm not going to say that in the slightest. I've just We've still got another one in that ring, haven't we? Yeah, let's not put it to use, okay. please. I've had enough mm. emotional... Jesus fucking Yeah, I don't, I don't like arguing with people. I don't want to go back. And I don't really like dying either, but like I don't... It's not fun. No, it's not. It's not fun. Oh, surely it's not that bad. Oh, I mean, it's not true. terrible, but it's really not great. I'm, I'm gonna I'm gonna say, for my part, we it could. was... Yeah, but yeah, not I saw it. <laughs> <laughs> not something I want to go through again anytime soon. Me either. Yeah, I we at least we kept some put us through. Yeah, that. there's there's me. Yeah. Yes, why don't, would I? Because don't you die? I don't really have control over that. I'll try not to die imminently. Yeah, please. Okay. Thank you. It's not a club that you. It's it's, it's, it's not. Fun. I, I haven't been trying no, this whole I, no, time. No, I know. It was more the comp. Honestly, I'm quite insulted no, that you guys are surprised. I'm the only one who didn't die. No, it's an achievement on your part, honestly. I'm just surprised that possibly, they came possibly back. just poor... Poor decisions? No, just just bad luck on our part. No, poor decisions on, on some of our parts. Most of mine. Probably. I don't trust that. some poor choices. That's weird. But I don't like it. is on the roll of a dice. You know, you can't. <laughs> yeah. That's a gaming. <laughs> <laughs> we still have a little bit of a problem. We do. What? Specifically, a little bit. Oh yeah, oh, this is the bad news. Little problem. Oh. Because he's only like what three foot five or something. If that. The good news is, we don't have to deal with Hilltop and his paperwork anymore. <laughs> Make no. <laughs> Okay, apparently Dido's already made a decision <laughs> for us on this part. What do you mean? The bad news is we'd have to kill Hillcouple. Oh, oh, we don't have to kill him. What did you say? I didn't, didn't think he was he that didn't, annoying. No, he didn't say anything. So you know how a lich works? If that you don't destroy their phylactery, they come back. Oh, yeah, I knew that. Hilltopple is Maxum Legathus phylactery. Right. So, Max, so he's gonna, he's so gonna, they're gonna come they're back. They're gonna come back. Unless we destroy the phylactery, which is, which is Hilltop. Oh. Uh, oh. Uh, yeah. Oh. Uh, yeah. Oh. Uh, yeah. I uh, would say. Uh, oh. Oh, no. Part of me thinks it's his own fucking fault for not just staying in the fucking library like he was supposed I, to. I kind of get the feeling that this might have happened anyway. It but could have happened can... before he left the library. It could have happened before the le- he left the library. Also, fucking, they know how to make it hurt, so if he hadn't gone there on his own free will, I'm sure they would have just nabbed him. Or someone else who was close to us. Potentially died. I'm trying parents. to make this hill top as well. But, like, if, if, if we've all, like, mostly died and come back, then we can just make him... You go, Bibbidi, what have you did? Well, that's you the know? thing. We kind of need to see if destroying and then reviving will actually break the whole phylactery thing or if it will just 
keep the problem. Mm. It's a bit of a gamble then. Fortunately, we live in a library so we can look that shit up. Oh yeah, also ah. you... I've got the book. How long I've do got, we have? I took, I took, I... I, what's her fucking name? Zanthoria. I took oh. her book. Oh, the, the druid the, lich. The druid lich who made this magic. Yeah. I've got her book. We can do some reading. So we can have a look at Maybe that. Maybe we don't tell Hilltop. Let's not tell him. Let's not tell him yet. Well, like, how long do we have before it, like, comes back? Probably it, a while. It takes a while. It's not going to happen, like, oh. now or yeah. oh, tomorrow. Oh, okay, well. But we probably don't want to leave it hanging around. Oh, okay. Also, yeah. the last time we saw them, they didn't look too great. No. Hilltop, no. that is. No, he like threw up. Yeah. yeah. I mean, I think that may have been the. We should go see we should how go everyone's check doing. On him. Why are we still. <clears throat> we should leave. We, yes. We're, We're still inside the mountain. We're still in the mountain. Let's, let's, how let's we, go. Is, the, is the, the weird tear still there? Or is it. The tear we, to the astral plane? Oh, right. I thought there was the tear that could let people. that was letting the people see what was going on. No, no, no. This thing is like just. This island is just sitting in the court of air. Okay. <laughs> The tear is in the ground. It's not the mountain. It's just. It's just the tip. Just, just the bit where we were fighting. Yeah. Yeah. I heard that. <laughs> and oh, the. No. Uh, <laughs> you made you made that bad. I didn't because Cat laughed. I mean. <laughs> I was trying so hard. To laugh. <laughs> you made that bad. It looks like someone stole the top, like the top inches of yeah. Snowdonia or, or Scorful Pike or something, put it in an art museum. At least it made the cup. Co- so we're like. We're not in a mountain, we're just like on top of a bit. You can very easily climb down from the hill. And, yeah, and a hill that up. is now, the Court of Air is now a, a mountain. It's now a mountain. At the tip of a mountain. Yeah, it's going to take a lot of movement. It makes the Court of Air so. look more interesting. It's added contours it's to it. It's not sure. necessarily the Court of Air anymore, it's the Court of Mountain. It's the Court of Stone. Yeah. <laughs> court of Earth, we're just cycling through the elements here. You sound like you're writing a... A young adult. No, go on. You can make this joke. <laughs> <laughs> a young adult, slightly pornographic novel. Well, now you lost me. I thought you could make an Avatar reference. Yeah, I, you lost me at the start. I don't know what's going on. I want to start making Someone my way. Someone will understand so, that reference. I want to start the making four my way. Of you, I do not. Why? The four of you walk down the mountain, down this little path that you walked up. Really, but a few. Oh yeah. Like, like ten minutes ago, we mm. climbed this mountain and. Uh, we forgot the way up. <laughs> Intense, but uh, and, and so lot. much has happened in those ten minutes. Yeah. It felt like it had been like a month. Yeah, yeah. it almost does. Weird. <laughs> and as you step down, the hundreds and hundreds of people that are gathered here and are surrounding your surrounding the mountain and are observing your descent are aghast because they have remember they have seen the entire final moments of this battle. Oh, yeah. Oops. <laughs> Holding their mouths and like hands in front of their mouths and uh, are completely aghast. And as you come down, this ripple comes throughout the crowd. No, this was no. With intense applause, mm. louder and louder and louder until the whole of Camel Keep <laughs> is cheering for every single one of you. <laughs> and uh, then they just start milling forward and uh, come towards you (laughs) and start embracing you and hugging you and shaking your hands and suddenly you're in this just this mass of people Um, this is your worst nightmare (laughs) it's it's my worst nightmare also because like just before they arrive he's gonna look at her eyes and just say this would probably feel a lot better if this whole thing wasn't our fault in the first place (laughs) Uh, maybe leave that bit out they already already know oh yeah they did yeah. The, the, the situation was announced to you. Yeah, good point. <laughs> um, Peachy, you see Jim appear to you before Aww. you. Like Jim appears in the in the crowd and goes, "Oh, yeah, thank hey. you. I feel a lot better." Oh, good. I think we all feel a lot better. Ah, yeah, that's you. I'm so glad. I feel better too. Oh, thank you. He, Did he they see her die? Sorry? Did they see her die? Yeah, um, they saw bits. They saw her go down, but then they saw her come up again, so they weren't too worried. Okay. <laughs> I don't know what no, we're going to get me down. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I get it. No, I'm down. Wait, top. We'll get caught. Um, oh, oh, fucking Christ. <laughs> Try it. I sure. get up. But I get all down again. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I just supposed to Um, You guys also see, um, coming up to hug you, Dido, for, uh, specifically, is Gailby. Oh, oh, my God. He's oh. running up. <laughs> <laughs> no, he went to space. <laughs> Not in the rocket. No, that's just true. Dido just fucking sent him up there after it happened. <laughs> <laughs> Threw him. 
<laughs> yes, Gilby and uh, and Ebda, her dad, is uh, is running up to you. Hiya. Hello. Oh, hello. I was feeling really bad, but now I feel better. Good. I'm so glad. That hey. was really beautiful. That was really cool. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Couldn't have done it without you. Wow. <laughs> <gasps> Pick up to her dad. As a reward. <laughs> Do you want to ride a dragon? <laughs> I'm going to turn into a dragon and shape change. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All of the other people that were also around the dragon were knocked away <laughs> as if an explosion went off. Gelb, Gelb is like the little kid on the trike in uh, the yeah. Yeah. That was yeah. totally I got my knife out of the cell phone. And I didn't get to like use it. No. So, <laughs> So cool. he accidentally like, turned into the giant like, purple worm. Like a purple, pink, and like yellow galaxy dragon. <laughs> Dope. Like black. And okay. Yeah. Um, luckily, yeah, pe people people realize you're doing this, so they're not too <laughs> shocked and think that uh, a horrible creature has appeared now. Because um, there is there is a certain familiarity and a certain sense of like good and kind beauty around this uh, about this dragon. Gail B is just losing her fucking shit. <laughs> You, you, you promise you say if you take her back, take her back in. in, in she'll in. be fine. She'll be fine. Please take us with you. <laughs> I don't want to be stuck here. No, oh, okay. I still got my wings. Can come back down? No, you don't have to. That was a bit. <laughs> and, I'm just gonna uh, fly around for a bit. You fly around the candle keep and the surroundings, <laughs> over the ocean and over the surrounding mountains. Oh, you I was see. I'm gonna say I do a loop to loop. <laughs> <laughs> you can do a loop to loop. With Gail be on my back. I mean, it's up to you if you want to tie Gailby to a No, but I'm not going to kill Gailby because you did a loop to loop. Uh, <laughs> so you tell, you tell Gailby to hold on tight, and she does, and you swoop around in the air, and she goes. Aah! As you come back down, you hit our flying castle. As it <laughs> Which I think is still on its way back from wherever it was last time. I Probably. Remember. Did we even take it? I don't think we did actually. Oh, did we leave it? I think we left it up there. I, I think it's still up there. And then, meanwhile, down on the, uh, meanwhile, down on the ground, uh, the greetings and the celebrations and just the grand outpouring of love for all of you <laughs> is, is continuing. Um, Volkish, you feel a big powerful hand on your shoulder. <laughs> <laughs> <coughs> yeah, stand up as if nothing happened. <laughs> Turn around and you see Bertha go, hello, folks. <laughs> Your voice went down a couple of octaves since last time. <laughs> it's been a while, I, I can't remember. <laughs> you're, you're all right, everyone down in down in your section? Some, She's like... just had a fungal plague, mate. <laughs> She's got a bit of a cough. I know, we're pretty rough. We're, we're pretty rough. Was that before or after the plague? Mm. No, it was after the plague. Okay, right, okay mm. cool. Didn't know what you'd been getting up to before that. Well, I mean, some stuff, but we're, <laughs> that. we're good, used to good that. We're used to that, yeah. <laughs> it's fucking terrifying. <laughs> Look, I'm pretty, um, I'm pretty rough uh, today. I feel, I still feel very woozy. But um, thank you for making us. Thank you for saving us all. No, that's no, fine. Don't, don't worry about it. Don't mention it if you can help it. <clears throat> it's okay. I'm pretty, like I said, pretty tired today. Swing by tomorrow for the reward. Yes, yeah, sure. <laughs> <clears throat> yeah. Dum, dum. While still hugging Jim, you just see Peachy's face like. <laughs> you don't say a fucking word. Oh my god! Surely you knew. Yeah, I feel like everybody it's fucking like knew. It's like the first time the... she's seen it. The first oh. time. I was just gonna pat him on the shoulder. So like, surely, like... despite my best intentions, apparently everybody in this place fucking knows. <laughs> knows about Bertha. Knows about Falkish and Bertha. Specifically. <laughs> yeah. Because of you two. I think. <laughs> Look, man, it was too juicy. I met Bertha myself. You did. <laughs> Bertha came to you because I was missing. <laughs> that was a caper. That was good. Uh, that was the peachy only caper. <laughs> God, we've had some time. So. <laughs> oh my God. Um, and Horizon. Ah, uh, yes. You are approached by Bookworm. Oh, Ooh. hello. Oh, all right. Well, that's fine. We did it. Yes, you did. Sorry for causing it, but also we fixed it. We've got well, a bit of a habit of that. You did cause it, but 
the reason you caused it was because of your unending service to both Candle Keep and the Sword Coast. You're welcome. So I think the um, the benefits outweigh the losses there. I'm beginning to come around <clears throat> to uh, Candle Keep Confidential as a concept. Beginning to. You're no, growing on me. <laughs> All we had to do was kill a god. <laughs> and we're growing on <laughs> you. Growing on yes. Uh, yes. <clears throat> well, like a fungal plate. <laughs> Thank you most kindly. I'm, I'm glad that we could have been of assistance on our various misadventures. From Jen's hand. Now, um, there's someone here who'd like to speak to you, and he steps aside, and behind Bookworm stands a very tired and sick-looking hilltopple. <laughs> oh. he He's got a little little blanket across his shoulders, and he's stumbling towards you. Rise! Hi. It was magnificent! That was incredible! You look like shit. No offense. Yes, I still feel rather rough. Yes. We're gonna, we're gonna deal with that? Hopefully. So I was wondering why everyone else is, seems to be feeling a lot better and cured, but... So, uh, y yes, um... I'll tell you what... <laughs> why does that have to be me? Hmm. I'll tell, you, I'll tell you what, why why don't we reconvene in the Candlekeep Confidential Headquarters? Oh, um, where it began! <laughs> yeah, exactly. End it, end it where it began. Um, we'll... You go, you go there, you rest, because... You look like you're not doing so hot at the moment. Um, yes, I will go there now. Yes. We'll meet you there. We'll meet you there. We'll be with you shortly. Right, bye bye. See you in a minute. What the fuck do we do? <laughs> okay, okay. I thought we tell him. Okay, we need. Okay, let's consult. Where the fuck did you come from? Thanks, <laughs> <laughs> <Okay. laughs> Arshad. Two things. Definitely good. Ah. Oh, good luck on dissertation. Good luck, good luck lovely. <laughs> Okay. Right. Okay, so you lot go to uh, my room's closest. Go to, go to my room. I'll be there in just a minute. Okay. Okay. I've got to get something. Cool. I'm going down to uh, the the crypt. The mirror. mirror. Going to mirror. I'm going to mirror. Okay. So, um, Horizon. Yep. You climb down the long and winding stairs. How how wide is the staircase? How tall? Just out of interest. Well, there's a lot of different staircases. Okay. Like it's a whole, whole little, whole little passageway. So some of them are, some of them are, what, like a wide, these wide, wide crypts, and some of them are these narrow little tunnels. Cool. So. When it's wide, I'm flying. And <laughs> when it's not, I'm running. Uh, oh, for speed. <laughs> for speed. <laughs> okay. See what you mean. <clears throat> gotcha. So yeah, as quickly as possible, you run down these uh, stairs and tunnels and uh, passageways into the crypts of Tunnel Keep. You find the partially flooded cavern that you have conversed with Miriam in before. Yep. You can't see her at first, but after a while, the green wisps that uh, populate this cavern form into the face in the shape of an enormous dragon skull. Hello! We're alive! Where's Paige? Please. You've accomplished something many haven't. Few have in history. Yep. It sucked, but we did it. Can I have Paige, please? I'm very happy to talk dramatically, but I really would like Paige. <laughs> <laughs> yes, of course. Thank you. And this long, these long, long legs. Go, go, go. Ah, my darling, come to me. Best girl, love you so much. Mwah. You know, it's funny, she's been having quite a fun time here. She seems to have been getting on quite well, but the moment she saw you, she seemed to remember how much she missed you this whole yeah, time. Yeah, missed her too! <laughs> Best girl. <laughs> Best girl, I love you. Thank you for looking after her for me. I do appreciate it. Thank you for giving me some good memories and some good stories to tell in the future. You're very welcome. And I'm sure there will be more to come in the future. We seem to have a habit of... I was about to say running into them, but more they run into us. At full speed. Miriam disappears 
in a wind that <gasps> somehow appears down in this <laughs> crypt and she's born away on it. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> Bye. Nice dual roll there of a sentient book and an ancient dead dragon. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. I'm a dungeon master. <laughs> I'm yes. a dungeon master, baby. Did I, uh, did I get the skitter which is Star Wars Lovers? I did, didn't I? I did, I did. Yeah. So I very, dra- I very dramatically <laughs> left them. Oh yeah, you went, also skitter which is fine. You hear you hear an infernal clattering of metal uh, pincers <gasps> and you see an army of 40 skitter widgets. Yes! They multiplied again. <laughs> they all down the space and go... Oh, oh, come to me! My lord! <laughs> you are buried under a mountain of metal. Horizon is very happy. And you take 20d6. <laughs> <laughs> she can't take that out. 20d6. She got, she's still on one health! <laughs> oh, fucking Horizon just never comes to the room. Die. Like, What's taking her so fucking long? Should we I look? Never yeah. saw Horizon. Never again. saw it. Yeah. It's like, um. <laughs> y'all. Whoops. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna head up to my room, clutching Paige and with the skitter widget. Riding the skitter oh. widget. It's <laughs> a surfing a wave. <laughs> yeah. Um. So the, you you told them to go to your room. Yes. Okay. So yeah. Eventually, you hear this big metal sound. The three of you what approach the, the doors. Door slams open and you see Horizon, Page, and just the entire background of which is pressed against the wall in Skitter Widgets because it's not a big room. Yeah, it's just metal cogs. You're fucking amazing that you managed to speak really well for about thirty seconds and then it left you entirely. Okay, I'm back. One of their tails got me. Easy, darlings, easy. Why do they still have lightning tails? I just dragged them just hanging outside the window. Sure. What the fuck is going on? I'm gonna draw this as a scene. I was left to like. My head's just resting on the windowsill as I'm flapping. Think she's just petting as many as she can. How it started, how it ended. Paul Kesh is in exactly the same position, just sat on the edge of the bed just like this. <laughs> nothing changes, <laughs> except he's got a fancy hat and glasses. <laughs> yeah, and, 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 and have the magical ability to like alter time and space. Yeah, but that's not, that doesn't appear in the picture. <laughs> no, in the picture it's just his costume changes. <laughs> Okay. So you found them? I found them. Yeah. Well, I, I didn't I didn't lose them, I just no. got them back. Nah. No. Okay. Right. I'm gonna take the Xanthoria book out of my backpack. Yeah. And I'm looking through it about what the fuck to do about living phylacteries. Yeah. Um so you read it and find out unfortunately. No. The phylactery is the body. The body ah. which needs to be infused with life. Oh. That's all it says. So as long as that body is infused with life, is living, it functions as a phylactery. So we destroy it and cast resurrection. Disintegrate. Reincarnate. <coughs> Disintegrate then re- reincarnate. I don't know yeah. Disintegrate. Wait. I, I don't have it. Someone... Was it, was it literally it. just his? Was it li- Wait, can he do it himself? I mean, turn the gun on himself. <laughs> That's gotta be fucked up, <laughs> bro. Is it that thing where any spell you cast on someone else happens to you? Is that a thing? I don't know. I might have read that in a book. No idea. If you put a mirror in front of him, and then it bounces back. Disintegrate is weird. It does have some. Weird ways till it works. I don't know. Maybe. Okay. Does it actually work? I don't. Have know. I come up with something that might work? You know what? You hold the mirror, and we'll cast disintegrate at you and see what happens. Okay. <laughs> Do any of us have disintegrate? It's literally just hilltop. It's just hilltop. Well, you do in the form of. No, I don't. Oh. In that form. Mm. Yeah. Is disintegrate a ninth level then? No, it's, it's less like, than. It's like fifth. It's 
I, I can't do ninth level spells with Wish. And, you know. you can yeah, do. yeah, no, I know, that's why I was okay, yeah. You can no, cast no. Disintegrate as an 8th level spell. Yeah, I could do mm. that. <laughs> disintegrate? Just really fuck him up. Disintegrate and then we reincarnate. Okay, but is would would that work? Reincarnate. Gives I think, them a new body. It, I think it does specify it gives them a new body. Okay, we're playing fast and loose with the rules here because both of yes. us got brought back on. There's a chance, yes. Good there's point. A chance Never mind. that it won't be. If we disintegrate and then resurrect, I think disintegrate. do we get the impression that will work? Or is it in the impression that like because we're bringing the body back... The, think, yeah. Disintegrate and resurrect, not reincarnate. With resurrect, yeah. With resurrect, you need an intact body. I think I think we do for reincarnate. Yeah. Technically. Yeah. Oh, what? Reincarnate is to become a get grab a, get a new body. I've got re- yeah. Yeah. My yeah. Spells. And it's which is a fifth level spell slot. If you that's wish, what I've got. That's what I've got in the ring. If you wish me enough diamonds, I can just true resurrect him. But that doesn't the, need a body. But that's the no. But we need to get rid of the body. That's the phylactery. That's the issue. Need body. Mm-hmm. We need to get rid of his. For, for reincarnate, you just touch a dead humanoid or a piece of a dead humanoid. Oh, okay, so it did work. Okay, okay. But, but, would, but would that then bring back the body as the phylactery, or would it not? Well, we've been playing fast and loose with it, so that's the question. <laughs> I don't. Even though it is the end, it's probably not fair to just be like, "Can we change the rules back?" Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's really <laughs> weird. Well, it being the a new body if the original no longer exists. Wait, 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 wait. That's, that's true resurrection. It's true resurrection. That's true resurrection, which is like In that. that case, we could just wish that he wasn't a phylactery. I'm not sure it works like that. Wish tends to be that there's a lot of spells that tend to stipulate this can only be undone by greater restoration true. or wish, and I doubt greater restoration is good enough. No, but true restoration might be. True resurrection. It, no, you said you said true restoration. True can, resurrection. True resurrection can give a new body. Yes, if the uh, old one doesn't exist. If the old one doesn't exist. Oh. So that. Okay then. That that could work. Ooh. Do you have that? Spell? Uh, not right this second, but I could have Tomorrow it. Tomorrow you could have it. Yes, if we slept. Okay. Okay. I, it, I, it'd take me some time to prepare. Do I still have the case that had the Nether Scroll in it? Yeah, I reckon you would. How much do you reckon I'll be able to sell it for? <laughs> you probably still have the Nether Scroll. Does it not? Is it not like a? I'm thinking Elder Scrolls scroll that when you read it, it destroys itself kind of thing. No. Oh, so I could just fucking do it again. I'll just keep this. I'll just keep well, this. Well, like you, you, it might not be able to do that again. Like essentially, you have this immensely powerful scroll. I'll just hold on to that. You have, yeah, Put ma- it under my bed. magic in written form. Yeah. And uh, it has many oh. uses, and you can sit down and I can tell you, yeah, you can. I will fucking look at that. Then, you can just have in an case. attempt to. You, you can attempt to study this for a while. Yeah, I will. If it if it's just like, oh, I've found the key to unlocking the universe, it could probably change. Ah, he'll double back. No, it damn it. No, it doesn't say that. I'm saying in the future you can sit down, and you can you can spend some time studying this Nether Scroll and see what what secrets it can unlock for you. But it would uh, require like like days and stuff. months of yeah, study. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, okay. sure. So at the moment, Aww. we're going to fuck him up, <laughs> then use, well, how much do you need for, is it like 25,000, 25,000 gold Yeah, how much do you need, because there's only so much that I can yes. create. 25,000 gold worth of diamond. Well, weirdly specific number. <laughs> I know. Um, I have diamond dust, 20, I don't know if that counts. 25,000 is what I can create. Mm. I have 3,000. I've got 4,000. Uh, uh, we don't have, we don't have 25,000. We We've already talked about Oh, yeah, because you need a tiara. I think it was like 20,000. We had yeah. something yeah. like that, weirdly. Like 16. Yeah. yeah. <clears throat> okay. Mm-hmm. So if the, if the body is the key thing... Then we need to destroy... You destroy the body. The body of our boss. <laughs> bring him back with... Children. That's your wish. <laughs> bring, you wanted to kill him for a bring, bring him back in. If we bring him back in a body that looks the same as the one he's got at the moment, but is a different body, would that still. Would that be okay? I think. The body the spell creates. Is a new body. We don't, new we body don't even need. We don't even need yeah. his body for true resurrection. Right, so. It's we, literally you just grabbing a soul out of the ether or whatever. Mm-hmm. Okay. And creates a new one. So as long as that body is dead. Yeah. We're good. Not dead, not dead. Destroyed. If you still have the body, 
it will just transfer back into the body. So we destroy. We so need to destroy the body. We need to destroy the body. So oh, we're killing him, destroying his body, and then right. creating we a new body and drawing his spirit. We should probably talk to Hilltop. We should probably yes. talk to Hilltop. Yeah. I feel like this is one of those things where we should run it by the person. Oh yeah, we're not going to just... We're yeah. not just going to burst I'm just it saying, in. if yeah. we just fucking surprise, like, no. kick the door down, disintegrate it. You've we can't, because none of us have disintegrate. If you use wish to cast a lower level spell, do you still go through the stipulations of you, you might lose it? No. no. Not if you use uh, it to recreate another spell, it's but if you, if you do anything else. With it. So you could do that, leave it a day, get it back, and then... But consider, we talk to him. We could do both. <laughs> <laughs> right. Let's, okay. let's, let's go and talk to him. We've also, we've also left him waiting it in the office for a while now. It's Probably did we? Oh. Yes, I told him to go wait for us there. And like, mm. Well, I didn't fucking know that. Well, I had to go get, I had to get Paige. Alright. priorities are Yeah, that's fair. That's priorities. Alright. Should we go? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Let's start here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wait. See, she's the best. Might want to... I don't know if Paige wants to hear this story, maybe. I don't know. Paige likes all stories. <laughs> Horror stories. Some of them might be a bit bitter, but they're still, t- still good. See? I don't like that. Paige is looking at me without eyes. I have really good stories. Good. With one eye died. Let's and go. And then I argued with my neighbors for about 10 minutes, and they were really uncool. Oh, that's what I mean. Peachy doesn't need to be here for this bit. One oh, I'm keeping. Oh, oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Peaches are talking with Paige until she realised that. Oh, 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 wait, where are we going? Everybody's left. Look, you got some unsub. Horizon is not letting go of Paige for at least 48 hours. I'm gone. (laughs) (laughs) Volkesh is gone. He heard Peachy talking and just immediately left. (laughs) Left. (laughs) Alright. So, um, you all return to the County Confidential Offices. Dido, do you, you fly to the window yeah. of the office? Yep. Absolutely. <laughs> Stay as a dragon. So yeah, this, this huge dragon face just whoom, appears in the window. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Dido! It's you, isn't it? I saw your transformation on the mountain. Stunning work! I'm going to start getting like some... I'm going to look really evil and get some fire like brewing in my belly. You're using so your frightful mean. presence. Yeah, fuck okay. it. Why are we giving him trouble? No, no, no. We're not no, dying no, no. as the rest of us are playing. I'm just playing a joke on him. I don't actually want to scare him. Okay. <laughs> Goodness gracious me. No, it's just me, mate. No, I know. I know. I, know. I, know. I forgot for a second, though, because I'm very terrifying. I'm trying to give him a fucking heart attack. Goodness, you. We've become a very really impressive bunch. Oh, oh, there you are. There are the others. Oh. The rest of you appear as well. What did you do? Nothing. Why do you always assume I've done something? Because your head's sticking out of the window as a dragon still. <laughs> sticking into the window. Sticking into the window as a dragon and... You have something against dragons? Doesn't matter. Don't fucking start. We've got enough. <laughs> we've got enough on our plate right now. <laughs> oh yeah, Hilltopper, well, we've got some news. Yes, 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 my, my condition. I've been racking my brain about it, but I don't know what it could be. So we've got a situation. So you know how liches work? Do they have a phylactery? Yes. And if, yes. Well, we just dealt with Xanthoria, who was a druid lich. Yes, indeed. Yes. I remember. I read Who up. has a living phylactery. Oh, I see. And what the archdevil... Titty boy, whatever his name is, has done. Titty villainous. Titty villainous. Titty villainous. Yes. Villainous titties has done. <laughs> as he's villainous made titties, magical villainous jumps. titties. He's made you the living phylactery for Macthum Nagatha. Surprise! Not the not what I was going for. <laughs> but oh, we've um, got a potential solution. So, oh dear. Yeah. I'm because I wandered into that cavern. I might have. I'm, I'm going to be entirely honest. I kind of suspect that this might have happened anyway, because 
the two of them were a couple of bastards, mm -hmm. and I feel like they would have targeted someone that was close to us regardless. Mm -hmm. You happened to be there, so you were an easy target, but if you hadn't, they might have targeted you anyway. Or, or gone for the mothers. Or gone for Dido's parents, or Jim, or mm -hmm. Bertha, or like... Oh god, if they gone for Jim. <laughs> <laughs> no offence. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Dido's trying very hard not to say, so it's Mercy really. <laughs> God, this man has just been told that he is. <laughs> Never mind. Anyway. That's so mean. But right, well. She didn't say it. I don't. I reckon. I reckon you best kill me. No. Okay. So here's the thing. We're not. Well. Well. <laughs> we'll get there. <laughs> we'll, get, we'll get there. We've got some. We've had a bit of a up our sleeve. We've had a bit of a boost. Quite a bit of a boost. So we think because it's your, it's 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 your body. It's not your spirit. It's not you. That's the phylactery. The, the phylactery. So we have a spell which could give you a new body, and we can make it the same as the one that you've got now. But it would be like a. It, it would it would look the same and be the same, but it wouldn't be this one. It would be a perfect copy of the body that you had. That before, but your original body we are gonna. has to be completely destroyed for us to be able to do that, or it'll just bring you back in, in your original body. Which and you'll still be the phylactery. Yeah. Mm. So we need and to. We could do this as many times as we need to, but um... <laughs> let's aim for just possibly doing <laughs> We're it in try one. Try for one. <laughs> We're gonna aim for Look, one. Every day we can try again until we get it right. Oh. I'm going to just try and close the window. It <laughs> 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 in his face and it's like... It's going to bite your hand. <laughs> yeah, it's not stronger than a dragon, funnily enough, so it doesn't do anything. It's just like someone's going like this. I just snort hot air onto your hand. Bah! <laughs> Fuck that, what did you eat? Oh, Magthum de Gaff, never mind. You probably bit off a chunk when you were there. <laughs> <clears throat> No, just gonna... when I think I've been, I think I've been helping, and I've made things worse than ever. I really don't think this is your fault. No, it is entirely our fault. This is if, def very yeah, definitely yeah. our fault. If I hadn't, well, you know, died. I mean, immediately. I mean, okay. If you technically, it is all Horizon's fault. I wasn't gonna <laughs> deliberately put it all on Horizon. I could have it not is... been surprised by the sentient. Okay, okay, okay. Primarily my fault. You also could have not made your deal with Macklin the Gatham in the first place, which admittedly was before we all knew. Good you. point. Yeah, that was a while ago. Yeah. So it's my fault. We're getting awfully bogged down whose fault it is. It's, it's my fault. Let's is. get to killing the. It's, it's <laughs> mine and Falkesh's fault. Very well. The point is, it don't matter whose fault it is. You have helped us for out the thing, and you're our friend, and I don't care if it's anyone's fault, because we're going to make you better, and that's that. And I don't care about no gods because I'm gonna kill the shit out of them again. And if I don't die first. Yeah, we've done well, we can that. do it again. Up top will come some hugs, Peachy. <laughs> Are you gonna kill this illness so bad that I'll make it scream? <laughs> <laughs> and she's just shouting nonsense. <laughs> <laughs> also, that book you were talking about a week ago, I suddenly want to read it. <laughs> oh! Oh, you have a sword for your ear. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> that's why I'm just sorry. I'm just nervous. <laughs> I, was just, I was doing a peachy, and it was bad. It was, bad. <laughs> it was a letter. <laughs> yeah. Also, yeah. Did that just remind? Didn't she say? Can you say something about a letter? We can think about that later. All the right. point is, <laughs> I'm so proud of you. I'm so proud of all of you. I'm proud of us. No, because we right. can't disintegrate. Okay, so here's the thing. We can't bring you back today because. <laughs> so, we'll like, give... I could do this any time over the next 200 years and it would work. You're not going to be alive that long. I am. Oh, you fucking are. Oh, <laughs> I mean, we could kill him now. <laughs> oh my god. Mm. I need someone to tell me straightforward what's going to happen. Okay, we can either kill you now and bring you back tomorrow, or we can kill you tomorrow and then bring you back immediately after. Kill it's me now! Yes, sir. Your decision. <laughs> Just do it, please. I'm on. I'm, Does anyone have I'm very on edge. <laughs> I don't think I do. I 
mean, I, I don't know. You can just fight. just going to leave the canopy confidential office. Covered in blood. Carrying him to death. We've got a fucking burn. I'm, oh, I'm, my God. oh, God. How... I've got maddening darkness. <laughs> So we just need to I, I've got, get I've, 120 feet away. I've got I've got my knife level spell slot still. Okay. Fuck you. Then we're gonna have to like burn the butt. Let's do this bit first. We don't we're all gonna have to hit him because he's got hit points. Let's not I've got a knife level spell slot. I can hit him hard. Yeah. Magic missile. <laughs> knife level. <laughs> <level. laughs> <laughs> would you prefer to not be conscious for this bit? Okay. I mean... It's probably I, a good idea. Repeat. Just take a peek. Just make him have a little nap while we figure this out, because I don't think it's very kind to him at the moment. Yeah, yeah please. Okay. Oh, fucking God. Hilltopper, can you um, explain a card trick to Falkish for me, please? Oh, no, and Peach is just going to go... Uh, <laughs> look like she's looking in a bookcase behind <laughs> To Falkish, this trick has about... Uh, about a... a, a Two in ten chance of succeeding, but I think you'll find it quite interesting. It's a bit of a thinker, though, so listen very carefully for the next two hours. <laughs> 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 now, <laughs> I was going to say, please hurry up. <laughs> yeah, you, you knock him out. <laughs> All right, how are we going to fuck him up? <laughs> <laughs> that you is all just start shooting. I, that is why I knocked him out. No, <laughs> that's a, I, want, I was hoping that. Horizon could do it in one. I just the discussion. I can prob <laughs> I can probably do it in one. How many hit points has he got? <laughs> oh god. Has he leveled up to level sixteen oh, as well dear. or whatever we are now? Remember when we were like, we can't kill Big B. <laughs> we should have just fucking kill Well some of us wanted to kill Big B. Yeah! You know, if we had, we also wouldn't be in the- There you go, it's also Dino's fault! For <laughs> not wanting to- Yeah, no, it's Bigby's fault. It's made a piece of it shit. It is all Bigby's fault. <laughs> I don't have- Okay, oh. I cannot find Hilltopple's stat That's sheet. That's fine. So, so yeah. tell you what, are you casting a ninth level uh, disintegrator? I don't have ninth level disintegrate. I- okay, No, but are you casting yeah, wish- eight, Are you casting wish to cast an eighth level disintegrate? I was gonna do delayed glass fireball, but- That works better, because then we don't have to awkwardly destroy the destroy body, the body. That's why I won't work here. Well, I'll take him outside of the that, No, that would have been funny though if we'd done that and then just gone. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you know the disintegrate does disintegrate, so it takes care of the body. Yes, yeah, yeah, but yeah. Horizon is iffy about disintegrate. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Can yeah, yeah, yeah. I yeah, yeah. do it? Because somebody tell me how to do it. I want to point at him and make the body go. <laughs> you look at him and then you say disintegrate. That's not how that works. Isn't it? I'm <laughs> going to pick him up. Cool. I'm gonna fly out of candle keep. You guys coming with? I'm assuming so. Get on, Dido. Yeah, okay. Cool. <laughs> Dido's cool with that. <laughs> she almost bit my arm off a second ago. Get on! Alright! <laughs> Fuck! Cool. It's the two of you climb onto Dido. <laughs> fly out with Horizon to outside of candle keep <clears throat> in the surrounding meadows and, uh, and, and uh, rocky plains. Not rocky. take longer than an hour. What? Does it take longer than oh, an no. hour to get out of camp with you? I'm gonna say no. Okay. <laughs> Has Unless... it been longer than an hour since I cast the spell? Probably, yeah, it's getting there. Yeah, so... <laughs> Do I manage to land before I turn back into time? Yes. Don't! Oh my god! <laughs> Pretty much as soon as your your big claws <laughs> land on the grass, you boom, turn back into yourself and you two go. We boom, we fall about five feet. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna get him on on the rocky area because I don't want to set the meadow on fire. Yeah, sounds good. Okay. <laughs> I was tempted. Right. Everyone, get about thirty feet away, please. Okay. Okay. <laughs> don't have to tell me twice. I'm gonna. So it's not moving. <laughs> I'm gonna lay on the ground. Um, and I'm just gonna put a, I'm just gonna, like, yeah. He's, what's, what's, he's got, like, a blanket. I'm just gonna, like, bundle him up a little bit. <laughs> I feel bad. We're setting up a nuke. <laughs> this is not real tough. I'm just like, oh, I hope you don't wake up the next minute. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm just gonna kind of pat him on the forehead and be like, I've kind of been kind of shit to you, but I really hope we're doing the right thing by you right now. Um, and just leave a little little glowy ball just above his head, and then I'm back in the fuck up, and we're gonna wait a minute. 
to let the damage rack up. Oh. Does it go okay. off automatically or does it still It goes, so basically it increases by 1d6 every round. Yeah. It lasts for a minute. When it ends, uh, it goes off. Basically, if you if you cast it... If you it, waste the entire time. If you waste the entire time, it goes off at the end. Yeah, okay, that's okay. what I was thinking. So it's, oh, you've got telekinesis sitting where you could have just like, made his head bob. Well, it, well, I was literally going to, like, may chan like, poke it. <laughs> Fair. So it's going to be 23d6. <laughs> well then, you, you better roll, roll, roll... Yeah, I mean, do you, do you want to roll it? <laughs> of course I want to Yeah, I mean, I know you want to roll it, go ahead. <laughs> this is 23 fire damage. So fucking funny. And almost impossible. I think we'd rip a hole in space time. Oh my god, are we adding this to Horizon's kill count? <laughs> <laughs> Fuck no. Oh. Absolutely not. Wait, 2046. Are we done for Are you using your ninth level slot to do it? Oh shit, I am! Yeah. Oh, that extra D6. There you go, 2046. <laughs> oh my god. So that's six from all of us. Yeah, I only have five. Well, I've done seven, I've got, so... I've got seven, <laughs> so. well, anyway, right. one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, six, nineteen, twenty, <laughs> twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four. I'm just level one. That's my oh, screen. <laughs> Somebody, screen face please help. Oh god, it's in the sugar! <laughs> uh, mm. Yeah, baby! Okay. <laughs> you said yeah, baby to your own dice right now, Falco! But my dice got a six! <laughs> Fuck. Oh, that's fine. My other one got a six. Oh, okay. Might as well use a body sauce for points. <laughs> 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 Have hilltop will start uh, oh, shoot here, so we'll see if you actually. This doesn't kill him, I swear to God. I mean, he's still a, he's a level fourteen character, but he is a wizard. But he's a it, wizard. As long yeah. as he didn't take toughness. Yeah. He's also a halfling, so he's, he's got pretty good con. Oh, shit, yeah. mm. Wait, do I? Oh, oh, what? Do I do I have to double his health? Because it's the whole thing like in, it's only an insta kill if it's like. The amount of... Oh, fucking hell. <laughs> no, we can bleed Just out. tell me what you've gotten. Okay. <laughs> we haven't counted that far yet. I don't yeah, think you're going to be able to double his health. Okay, that's fine. <laughs> um, Yeah, 94 is his hit points. <laughs> okay. And then we just punch him three times. Really. So, uh, I'm, I'm gonna say, I'm, I'm gonna say that does it. Okay. Thank you, we don't have to punch him to sure. death. This <laughs> intense detonation occurs, surrounds the body in this bright, bright orange flame. And when it disappears, just this charred black body is left behind. This like skeleton, this like charcoal skeleton. Oh, okay. Do you reckon that's enough? That did not. No, that is not enough. That didn't feel good. No, that, that didn't. But we did, did it. Not feel good. And it's gonna be good in the long run. Yeah, in the long run. Oh, right now, it feels bad. It feels real bad. That is unfortunately still a body. Oh. So we need to. Well, we're surrounded by wood. I don't know if burning it's going to cut it because there'll still be carbon I mean, left over. Christ. Um, Does disintegrate have to be on a living creature? Fuck if I know. Look, do we have any acid? Your axe is acid. Oh, yeah. And we've got acid spray, we've got acid spray, haven't you? Me? No, I've got poison spray. Oh, fuck. Oh, it's going to feel real bad, but I, I do think. I can do the claw thing, which is acid. So ideally, we which want. Which is fucking kind of. We want, we want to dissolve the body in acid. Um, okay. I've got a vial of venom. Yeah. And um, yeah. Put. Hmm. Well, Does probably... candle keep cell acid? <laughs> yeah, you can probably find some acid. Oh, I'm gonna just go and do that. Cool. And the less we talk about it. 
Just gonna buy. Don't ask why I'm <coughs> up, like buying a bathtub's worth of acid. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Don't worry about it. Just got a fucking bucket. <laughs> so. You have a of candles all the way yourself. Yeah, it's all the newcomers who are coming into Candlekeep now, and I'm just walking away with. <laughs> That's a barrel of acid. Don't look at the undead hero of Candlekeep. Don't My look at If I drop this, there's going to be problems, all right? <laughs> the Grave Whisperer. What the fuck did you do? Actually, that's kind of cool. I like that. <laughs> Tell us, what great deed is he to do with this acid? Let's follow and see. <laughs> I'm going to... No, I'm going to misty step <laughs> through the door and try and just get away. <laughs> Yeah, you get away. Oh no, he went invisible. <laughs> oh wait, I have invisible as well. I'm gonna do that. He went invisible for such is his grand power. But for some reason and we can uh, still see him and hit him if we want to. Yes. The other newcomer is gonna go, you are such a fucking dweeb. <laughs> Stop talking like that. Christ. I hate going anywhere with you. Like you and me. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> if we. Um, and... After a while, you return to the body with Hilton. Well, shall we? Shall we go through this quickly? To, yeah. To alleviate the horribleness. I'm gonna right fucking now. melt the body in acid. I don't want to go over it in great detail. A real horrible I'm moment gonna, later. You just use mage hand to just yeah, we're not done. I. Dido's like thought... just just clinically. <laughs> Like, Honestly, I thought you were just going to cast like Wish or Resurrection or re Reincarnate or something like that. I didn't know we would go down this route, but no, that's okay. Did I? Wait, you, said, you said the body, we didn't know if the Resurrection was going to like... So that's re what's happening. wouldn't have worked if we hadn't cheesed it twice already. Yeah. So... This is our hubris that's caused this. <laughs> you are a, a very unpleasant half hour later. <laughs> Hill Topple's body is gone. See, what's great about this method... I don't want to hear it. All of the cells are completely destroyed. I'm going to bed. Cells? <laughs> 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 please get that, that spell. Please just team. get the true resurrection well, spell tomorrow so we can bring him back. I'm just, I'm, this is, this is. I'm, re I'm really bad. hoping that Dino didn't need reminding. I'm reminding him anyway. <laughs> if I could wake up and go, oh shit, I forgot. <laughs> Give me a <laughs> Yeah, let's do a snap. I'm going to I'm fucking... Going to sleep. I'm going to bed. Good night, I'm just going to clutch Paige and be like, this has been a fucking day. Okay. Ooh. So, the four of you go to sleep. The next... Uh... <laughs> if this doesn't work, I swear. I think this will. I think it's <laughs> fucking better. Mm. The next day. You wake up, and where do you gather? Where do you meet? I'm going to Dido's room. Oh, yeah, you oh I there. thought we slept out on the mountain. Oh, fuck no. Oh, okay. no. <laughs> nah, you, you can't. Can't, no. yeah. can't <laughs> I'm going to bed. Um, yeah, where are you gathering the next morning? I guess we're going to Dido's. Candlekeep. Yeah. Yeah, we're going to the office. Yeah, we're not going to there. Oh, the, in, in, disorienting for him if we bring him back there. Yeah, yeah, the office. Office. yeah. Gotcha. Okay. Most likely where his soul will be. Yeah, also that. True. Fucking loser. Anyway, no. <laughs> so we still need to wish diamonds into being. Yes, we? yes, yes, we do. You're gonna be all right. It seems to fuck you up a little yeah, bit. As long as we don't get into any fights for a bit. Also, just don't... okay. I, I'm, I'm just gonna, I'm gonna cast this, and then I'm not gonna cast any other spells for the rest of the day because that would really hurt. Okay. Sure. Okay. So what is it you need? Twenty-five thousand gold's worth. Gold's worth of diamond. Dido? Yes, please. Mm. Okay. <clears throat> oh, this felt like a bitch last time. Okay. <sighs> I wish for 25,000 golds worth of diamonds. You tap into the weeb. You ask the universe to rewrite reality around your desire. And the universe responds. The universe shakes around you. <coughs> the entire fabric of reality begins to shudder at your request. <laughs> and diamonds materialize in your hand. Take Precious me. diamonds. I'm gonna sit down. Dido, please. <laughs> yes, yes. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 
And um, yeah, your strength is three. Yep. You're gonna take a d10 of the damage. I mean, it already, damage. it already was. Does it? Does it? Does it go down any further? Oh. Because it's. Or been... does it come back? Well, it came back after the long rest, but now it's back down oh, to three back again. I thought it was like. That's not permanent. No, no, no. I thought it was like. Your strength, your strength drops to three for two d four days. Oh. oh, so it was already three. Yeah, it just it stand, it stays, it stays on on three. You're, you're still really last week. To carry whole topics, I definitely couldn't manage. No, I did. <laughs> I, I didn't know that. Anyway, uh, anyway, and we, we need you to roll a d one hundred. Yep. Mm. We'll say peachy, Karen. <laughs> mm. Right on it. Eight. Twenty-six. Yeah. No, you can never cast Wish again in your life. Cool. Ooh. That's a ninth level spell slot you get. Ow. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah. Let's hope we don't have to do that again. Oh yeah. It's Probably a, not. It's upsetting that I... that's twice we've wished for something worth a lot of money and we don't get to see the money. <sighs> She's looking at the diamonds like, oh. it's coming handy. This or hilltop? Hilltop or bird? I just, oh, I really? like to dream, okay. you know. But we'll go on. Oh, come on. Other adventures we'll get. Hang on. Lots of diamonds. Oh. They're there for a reason. Yeah. Lots and lots of time. <laughs> <laughs> just staring at the diamonds. Someday. As not well, like, not my. Thing. Never mind. Lots just for resurrection, consume <laughs> those. Probably doesn't. Yeah, the, definitely. Yeah. The big ass spell. Yes. Yes, yes it does. Uh, Ugh. Ooh. Don't. <laughs> Please tell me I didn't do the wrong thing. Ability scores. What about it? That's that's strength, dexterity. Yeah. Cool, I'm gonna cast rest, greater restoration. On, on Horizon. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Oh, cool. Yeah. <laughs> we Your thought you'd misread <laughs> something about true resurrection and we just <laughs> fucked up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, oh yeah. my god. Uh, I'm just gonna sprinkle diamond dust on her head. That wasn't. Wait, wait, wait. <laughs> oh shit! Let's get the diamond dust from <laughs> <laughs> No, 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 I, I had some reserve. Okay, okay. okay. Oh. The only oh. fucking person I know who has diamond reserves. <laughs> 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 Let's just oh. bring the little fucker back, shall we? Mm. Thank you. What did that do? His strength uh, is back to like not much. Anyway, so, uh, eight or whatever it you can view a creature you touch positive energy to undo, undo a debilitating effect. Uh, I can end one of the following effects on the target, and I'm choosing any reduction to one of the target's ability scores. Sweet. Nice. Yep, your strength is back. Sweet. I still take the quality damage when I do all the spells, so I'm just going to not do that. <laughs> <laughs> and coming through the door, you see 4d6 goblins. <laughs> Roll initiative. No, I'm kidding. It doesn't I've still got my... I've still got a... What have I got? It's not a sling. Yeah, <laughs> I mean, yeah, they're fucking... <laughs> fucking goblins, yeah. He <laughs> just skewers them on sound for a second. Yeah, all in one. <laughs> 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 Bird is setting up on the desk, um, so she's just getting out a little bottle of water. Um, she's got the diamond. She's gonna want the diamond. She's gonna pour the water over the top, and she's going to say, "Please bring guys. What the fuck was his name?" No, his whole name. He fucking. Focus <laughs> <laughs> is gonna like very quickly go through like Daddy. the um. Bernard. Don't guess. Bernie Hills. Yeah. No, 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 no. Don't guess. Not gonna stop. Focus is going through <laughs> the. Um, bring back one of his oh ancestors. My God, I'm going through the goddamn books. The, uh, the, the things are, that he fills out and signs after all the missions. We are terrible people. He signs them, them as Hilltopple. Name, but this is great. Bernie Hilltopple. No, he signs them as Hilltopple. Yeah. That's all it says. Bernie Hilltopple. Yeah? Yeah. Okay. Wait, now, nah, is it... Are we sure? Are you certain? Yeah. Did you check? He just signs it as Hilltopple. That doesn't help! But his name is Bernie Hilltopple. Don't know what his middle name is. Do we need his middle name? Do we need his middle name? I doubt it. It wouldn't hurt. There's a, there's he a said little... it all the time, guys. <laughs> he said it many, many times. This is great, because I thought everyone would remember that. <laughs> the one thing I remember. Oh my god, everyone was like, Hilltop will know his full name. <laughs> 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 we're 
we're bad Farkas people. gets we're, up. We're bad people. He's going to the registry. <laughs> he's going to find someone who knows Hilltopple's full name. I mean, it's probably listed in the stock. Yeah, well, that's what I'm looking Yeah, a staff like... listing. And if it's not there, if he's just put fucking Hilltopple as everything, then he deserves to be dead. It's, it's Bernie. I still know his middle name. His I name do. is Bernie Aloysius Hilltopple. Aloysius. This <laughs> fuck is good. Come on. Okay. Bernie Aloysius Hilltopple. Thank you. Please bring... We are awful. Bernie Aloysius Hilltopple back to us. And I'm just going to smash the diamond between my hands. Oh. And it... Uh, boom, yeah. A flash of blue light. And it disappears. Paddy's calling us the worst. <laughs> and fair enough. <laughs> I was only pretending to be oh, the <laughs> You were pretending, but Lucy also doesn't know. Yeah, I knew. Oh, I knew it was Bernie Aloysius Hilltopple. <laughs> you did? <laughs> yes. Why didn't you say so? <laughs> because Dido didn't know, and that was funny. <laughs> I didn't expect you to Oh, you to liar. <laughs> I, I really knew. You liar. I thought these guys would remember. <laughs> <sighs> Huh. How long does it normally take? We're, tell, we're just we're terrible people. <laughs> so, flash of light. Boom! <laughs> Very bright. Shines throughout the room. Give me one hot minute. Ah, oh, fuck, it's still bright. <laughs> and... For a moment, everything is quiet. Everything is still. And you look at the spot where the flash disappeared. Where the diamond just yeah, disappeared from, uh, from Dido's hands. And the desk where she cast the spell remains unaffected. No one returns for a while. And, uh, then you hear a voice from behind you. Now, will you please try a card from this deck? No. <laughs> <laughs> Is that God? <laughs> you turn around and you see a very... Weak and tired looking hilltop. Burley Aloysius. Bur Bernie? Burley <laughs> Aloysius Hilltop. Burley Aloysius Bill Bopple. Burley, Burley, Burley Strong and. I'm gonna pick Burley him up and give him a hug. Yeah. Peachy's piling in. Dino's <laughs> gonna be like, oh, oh okay. No, well, I guess his hand is stuck because he was patting him on the shoulder and then you two hugged him. He's like, okay. Is this. I think this is the first time we do this. Don't. Yeah. Dad is gonna step away. <laughs> How are you feeling? Terrible. Yeah, dying does that. It's not fun. No. No, it's it is only Dido. Right? Yeah, it's only Dido. Dido. You... I still think we should fix that. How... How's the body? <laughs> um, <laughs> <laughs> it's looking. <clears throat> it's looking intact. It's looking exactly the way it should. Oh, I was asking Hilltopple. Oh, I see. Mm -hmm. I'm. Uh, got all my fingers and toes. <sighs> Seven on each hand. <laughs> and how are you feeling in regards to the. You Being looking... burned alive? I mean, I'm. Uh... I was hoping you wouldn't remember that bit. It's what needed to be done. <laughs> Sorry. You don't remember the acid bath, do you? Were you fucking. Oh a my swim? god! <laughs> No, <laughs> I didn't remember that bit. Because he was good by then. I didn't want to reimagine what we did. <gasps> it was necessary. We're very sorry. We both, brought you both for doing that and for bringing this upon you in the first place. <sighs> Do you feel like it's still clinging to you? Think. Well, I feel. I feel like I did before I went into that cave. And um, well, thank you for for saying so about burning me up. I appreciate that. <laughs> but uh, goodness me, for bringing this upon me. You 
understand. You've brought so much joy to my life. Good to candle keep. I... No, 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 no. Don't you dare apologize for that. I am very proud of you all. Thanks. Still going to feel a little bit bad, but, you know. Oh, for burning me up? Yes, I think there could have been a better <laughs> way out of that. I, I know, didn't have much. So, but, uh, I didn't have much left. No. No, no, I, I understand that, but, um... Yeah. Bumpy road to get there, but you did save us all. I was going to say, this Pretty kind of is bumpy. it for the god now, right? Mm. It fucking better be. Until... Something uh, still st- stupid. Let's, let's not make any dumb for deals now. for a bit. While Dido is for some reason missing, can we talk about how she's <laughs> the only one who hasn't died yet? I still feel like we should. We're not completing the set. I feel I like don't we. Sh- want I feel like we set. should. No, I don't. Think it, like no. out of all of us, uh-uh. I feel like the sassiest one should have been the first to go. <laughs> <laughs> I. She gives us so much shit. I'm very glad that I feel that like that I take a. Offense to that? That you're not the sassy. Yeah. Yeah, but you're not sassy to us. That's true. You're only sassy to, to people, people who, who the... bring plagues upon everyone that we've known and loved. Yeah. And whilst it is an I'm experience that I'm glad I though. went through. Really? Yeah, because I feel more enlightened. But like, <laughs> I also am very glad that I'm not going through it right now, and maybe hopefully not for a long time. Um. You know, preferably never. You know? So, yeah. No more death, please, for a while. Yeah, no huh? more death, please, for a while. Yeah. Fuck yeah. Death for a while. No more death for like a long while. I didn't say anything. Maybe like no more no reports proof. for a while as well, maybe. Well, I'm, I'm, I'm going to say that's up to you. Um, Do you know what? I think we should disband Candlekeep Confidential. What? I was going to say I'm going to retire and leave it to you. That works too. Can we have a holiday? <laughs> yeah, let's have a holiday. Back. Let's bit. close Candy Confidential indefinitely, but... I, 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 I think... I'm going to be honest, I didn't, like, for all the bullshit that we went through, I kind of didn't hate it. Yeah. Most of the time. There were definitely moments. Dying was definitely one of them. But... Yeah, I, I didn't hate it. It was really I'd rather fine. do that than... Filing books, to be honest. Also that. Oh, yeah. Boring as all hell. Also, I, yeah, I, I wanted adventure and I fucking got it. I kind of feel like I want to read a lot more now. That's the opposite of what everyone else is thinking. It's very weird. I mean, I'm not planning on leaving the library. Hmm. Well, no. permanently. No. Yeah, I think I want to read, like, a lot of books. Like, a lot of books. I mean, you're in the biggest library on the material plane. You read so many fucking books. Peach is so hype. (laughs) (laughs) I am perpetually confused by you. (laughs) You don't know what perpetually means, do you? No, but I'm gonna learn. (laughs) (laughs) Oh no, she's gonna. She's gonna (laughs) understand the things I say. I'm gonna be in trouble. (laughs) (laughs) And the things I've said in the past. Ten years ago, you said. She's been keeping a list of all the things that may have been insults, may have not been insults. You're gonna look them up. Luckily for me, she spelled half of them wrong. Yeah. So. I'm gonna say that she thinks most of them are like spell words. <laughs> <laughs> Very good. Because again, magic. Do you think universities will consider this work experience? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I'd say so. Right. I mean, you would write a good reference, right, Bill Topple? <laughs> Uh, it, it, I would, but I, don't, I think you might be one of the most advanced astromancers in history. Mm. Well, you I could... just wanted to hear someone say it. <laughs> were you applying as a student, or were you applying as a teacher? <laughs> 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 Do you have a degree? Listen. <laughs> okay, oh, fucking God. Like, I need to mean? highlight how rare it is that people ascend to your level of, of brilliance in your respective fields. <laughs> This is the things that people write legends of. And you did it very quickly. <laughs> <laughs> alright, alright, metagaming. <laughs> this is Axel making it clear that we're never getting this high level ever again in the campaign. No, not, not, not this quickly, we're not. Not this not quickly. Ever. Icewind Dale will not go this high. I can promise you. Have we leveled up to level 18? <laughs> oh, did, did we? Sure! <laughs> <laughs> no, no. One fight. Did we get up to level 17? It, 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 it wasn't God, it wasn't demigod. Oh, fuck. 
It was it was it was a god. It was an it was an it was an elder like yeah. It was an eldritch god. It was a greater <laughs> god that had been reduced to uh, essentially as the powers of a lesser god. Yeah. Fair enough. Oh so my god. We've pissed off a greater god, but yeah. we've done that before. Anyway. But he was still pissed said off. greater god can't easily come after us for a while. Yeah. I kind of want to point a laugh into Davilius, but also I really don't want to poke the snake again. Oh no. If you do Wait. do it somewhere far away from Candlekeep. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, let's no, not do any snake poking in no, the near future. Gonna, I'm going to leave them alone. I, I certainly won't be. <laughs> maybe, maybe they know what we did. Maybe they don't. Maybe they'll be waiting for... Muck them another gaffer to come back and it just won't happen and they'll come back from material pain and we'll go, ha ah, sucker. I think I'm gonna invite the boulder over for a fight. And I'm gonna kick his ass even more than I can <laughs> You he know a, what? I'll watch that. This he time hasn't I'm... leveled up since the last time you fought him. <laughs> <laughs> we, we were level You're eight. gonna sneeze on him. We, we, were level, we were level seven or eight when we did all of them. Yeah, I think it's seven, all right. <laughs> he's gonna whip no, every time I fought him and he's gonna be even more <laughs> one now. <laughs> So, Hilltopple bids you farewell, and what follows are many, many days of rest and relaxation and recovery, where you are treated as local legends of Candlekeep. Everyone you pass seem to know your name and the great deeds you did to uh, not just, not just in the case of the, Cap uh, the Capriotic Plague, but all of your adventures are being read, listened to, and, uh, and told throughout the library. And moving on from there, I'd like to ask what each of you would like to do. Are we doing a, a post film? <laughs> like we write down just where, like... Where do they go? <laughs> I mean, yeah, kind of. So, you have the rest of your lives ahead of you. Who wants to go first? Who wants to go first? Uh, I'll, I'll, let's go around the table. So, Folkish. Folkish. What do you do first? What do you do? Folkish is spending probably the next like 10 years of his life <laughs> if, if like just doing candle keep jobs but assuming that we're not going to be getting like paid full grand every month or stuff like that he's going to be spending a while earning enough money so that he can afford 25,000 gold worth of diamonds so that he can resurrect his brother oh shit Losing his powers as a warlock in the process, but <laughs> getting that little shit back. God damn. Okay. Mm. So, <clears throat> you spend many, many years mm. toiling in Candlekeep, running books, and, uh, and uh, cataloging. My You've ascended it a slightly high. higher now. <laughs> uh, do you like if you were offered a, a promotion in Candlekeep? Would you take it? If the pay was better. Yeah. Then yeah. <laughs> and yeah, you yeah, cool. Fuck it off. Because you have a bit of a you have a bit of status now. You start ascending through uh, through the ranks, and uh, many people just seem to want to visit Candlekeep to hear the stories of uh, of Candlekeep Confidential. Still takes many years. Mm. But you eventually gather up enough gold to purchase the necessary uh, components. Mm. Question, because you did say you wanted to spend some time with this, are you studying the Nether Scroll as well? Yeah. In that time? I'm gonna do something with my spare time because I still can't sleep. <laughs> All right, well, as you sit up late at night, poring over the uh, <clears throat> ancient writings, you unlock your mind to uh, far distant and uh, peculiar factions of the world that you have not yet heard of before. You uh, read about the great Netherese Empire, the, the place that held these nether scrolls, mm. the, old, uh, the old, old empire founded on magic, their brilliant floating cities, and the grand hubris of their magical nations which eventually led to their downfall. And after 30 days of studying this uh, scroll, you die. <laughs> I need uh, I need an arcana check. Okay, right. 
<laughs> I need a saving throw. At level 18, does your proficiency bonus go up again? Or is it maximum of six? Well, you haven't leveled up. I mean, no, <laughs> okay, no, no. Maximum of six anyway. Okay, right. So that. Okay, well, that's. Oh. 26. Holy shit! <laughs> DC 25. <laughs> I rolled an 18. I yeah. couldn't have done much better than that. <laughs> if you fail, you take 16 d10 slicker damage. <laughs> oh! I was joking, I didn't want to die. But now that you've finished reading, uh, after this, uh, you suddenly feel your mind expand. I don't need to be a fucking walk anymore. Holy shit. You feel <laughs> your knowledge widen and extend throughout the eons. Um, your intelligence score increases by two. Okay. <laughs> 16. 16. Nice. And you now have advantage on saving throws against spells and other magical effects. Fuck! <laughs> that could have been so fucking useful in the previous fight. It takes, you need 30 days of concentrated yeah. study to get to this point, so, so yeah. No. And also, you'll, there's a good chance you'll die. Yeah. <laughs> DC 25, that's rough. God damn. Yeah. Wow, this travels is God, God's shit. Mm-hmm. Um, but yes, you you gain some knowledge. Yay! <laughs> <laughs> nice. Yeah. And then that sort of focus has this like space widening out <laughs> around you. And um, and you go, oh, cool. Yeah. Oh, of course. Oh, cool. That'll help me probably <laughs> cut like a year off the time it takes to get the money. Hmm. What's the cat meme? Yeah. <laughs> well. I'm like, I'll make a really good soup. <laughs> And, um, yeah, eight years and a day from when you killed Makthum Nagatha, you are, you find yourself, (laughs) you find yourself in very familiar quarters, you find yourself near to the village you grew up in. You are standing near this plot where, uh, you know, your family can get buried, where they, uh, where they are interred, and uh, you see a little path that runs from it that leads to the village where your family probably still live. Mm-hmm. You haven't entered the village yet. Up to you if you do, but you are standing before the grave of uh, of your brother. That you haven't seen since. Well, you haven't seen ever, I believe. No, they probably would have assumed that we were both dead because mm. neither of us came back. Yeah, so you see your own grave as well. <laughs> Hello again. <laughs> it's just what they buried. <laughs> Rub the dates off. <laughs> it's fucking wrong. You left? Did you leave? You left the body, right? You just took the skull. <laughs> yeah, but it, it happened it happened away from the village. Oh, yeah. It happened, like, on the road somewhere. So the body's... Oh, fucking, the body's gone. Gotcha. So the body bit... is literally just a... It's a missing in action kind of... <laughs> my mistake. My mistake. I didn't know. I thought you I thought you left the body and took the skull, but... Nevertheless. You... Yeah, I would have. <laughs> <laughs> but, so it's a, it's a memorial grave. Yeah, basically. I'm standing before it. You cast True Resurrection. Somehow, yeah. Holy shit. Fine, I'll buy a scroll of it. <laughs> yeah, sure. Um, yeah, yeah, sure. Throughout this time, you uh, yeah. can't you get it, you can't get it through Mystic Arcana. Man. I don't unless I changed my subclass again. Ah, oh, fuck it. You you you, 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 you do it. Yeah. You cast a spell. You crush the diamond between your hands, and it goes. Foom. What you've spent all these years working towards suddenly disappears in a flash. You're a little bit blinded by it. As your vision returns to you, sitting on the grave is a familiar face. (coughs) Folkish. Sup? We thought I'd see you again, in the flesh, so to speak. No. Felt a bit bad for mum and dad, to be honest. Hmm. Wow. 
in there. Is that compassion I hear? Some, something like that. I don't know. Listen, it's been... It's been weird. Yes, yeah, family relationships go. <laughs> yeah, it wasn't ideal. <laughs> the way things worked out. And, uh... Well, I haven't been aging. And neither of you. No. <laughs> so it's going to be a bit weird that after eight years we come back looking exactly the same. Yeah, it's a bit weird. Yeah. It's more like nine years. Well, oh, yeah. Ten. For more you, bit. yeah, a little bit longer. <laughs> yeah. But, you know. I think folks were only in their lot mid 40s. Yeah, I think, still be around. I think they'll still be relatively happy to see us. Focused. I was convinced that you were an absolute bastard. Do you know that? I got that hint from when you <laughs> came and tried to kill me. Yeah. It? Yeah. Because, well, the entire village was talking about how you were... I was an evil, corrupted bastard. Exactly. exactly. I mean, they weren't entirely wrong. Well, I don't know if evil, corrupted bastards do this. Only if I had some, like, deeper plot that I hadn't quite got all the way through yet. But then that would have been a lot of fucking money and time to waste on that, so yeah. Probably like Maybe the same. Maybe Folkish the Corrupted has a <laughs> bit of art in them. Oh, is that what they knew me as? Fuck! <laughs> if I'd known that, I wouldn't have... I'm kidding. No, that's fine. But that's quite a cool name. Hey, mate, thank you. Yeah, don't worry about it. No, but no, really, thank you. Do you want to go first? I'm feeling a little bit uh, scared of going back in. Coming with? Yeah. Maybe like five feet behind. All right. He is going to follow. Go. <laughs> <laughs> He's not just going to go. <laughs> Foot <coughs> run away. No. Hey. I'm going to Hawaii. <laughs> um. So. The two of you start walking into the village. Mm. Off into the sunset. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, do you want to leave it there? Yeah. Cool. <laughs> don't, don't want to have to remember the backstory that I came up with ten no, months ago. Enough. Enough. So, you and your brother, your brother walking a little bit ahead, take the steps towards the village, first couple of steps to this new chapter in your life. How Folkish is greeted within those walls with love, with fear, with respect. Oh, that's a story for another time. And uh, <laughs> thus ends the story of Folkish. As long as we brought the bachelors right, we can set fire to the carriage. Nice. <laughs> <clears throat> um, Peachy. Peachy. So. I'm guessing Peachy is just gonna. I mean, she's still definitely sticking around with Candlekeep, mostly because I think having her in one place is probably quite good for her brain. <laughs> but she definitely does a lot of reading, as she promised. Um, but she she kind of spends her time splitting up reading. And as we said, going into Falcon, she'd be like, You said that one time, <laughs> but that actually means. And then a lot of that happens, going up to different people. Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. I didn't think you'd ever find out. <laughs> to me <laughs> and um in between that she definitely tries to get back into the um gladiator scene um but she also finds a good hobby in trying to train jim up to be like her protege <laughs> yes. she wants jim to be like the next big deal yes. and um, so she does fights with herself and mainly with the bowler being like i'm mm -hmm. challenging he's like please i just want to retire <laughs> <laughs> So, so there's a, yeah a lot of that, um, but I'm gonna say to every like major like gladiatorial fight, you each one of you guys will get an invitation each time, yeah. and he'll trouble of course. Does <laughs> Falcon have pulp new new posters up in his room? <laughs> <laughs> when she um, releases new ones, yeah. <laughs> so I'm, I'm gonna say, um, gotcha. Ten years later, Candlekeep is a bit of a different place. Mm -hmm. 
You have been. You you are now a staple here in here in this library, and uh, in uh, what used to be Firefly Cellar, because the initiative to get people reading, did, like yeah, the public reading, didn't take off at all. <laughs> it just did not work. Um, and so the Firefly Cellar became unoccupied, and you took the advantage to uh, to the opportunity to refurbish it into. <laughs> A gladiatorial fighting ring. Yes. <laughs> fucking underground on these fighting rings. Wooden scaffolding. <laughs> Peachy, you stand. Uh, you stand on this balcony, looking over the great fights that occur down below. Um, you see a now significantly buffer Jim in this ring. So proud of him. So proud of him. Um, stood uh, wrestling with. Um, uh, stood wrestling uh, with uh, yeah some uh, some uh, poor gnome uh, that Jim is absolutely dominating and for the first time Jim t- pins some uh, an opponent to the ground the bell goes ding and Jim goes I did it I did it I did it, I did it! thank you and Jim starts climbing up the the barricade and up the up the battlements and just. Gets you in for a big hug. Yes, you made me so much money. Well done. <laughs> <laughs> you made me so pr- Oh, thank you. You're so proud It's okay. Oh my god, so much money. You're so proud. Oh, oh, oh. Wow. Well, that's a good one. Yeah, that's a good one. Thank you. 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 you. know the elbow drop. You did that really well. Thank you. Amazing. Thank you. I'm so... I'm so... Oh, it's time yeah. for my... Biggest opponent. And turns to a, a haggard old sage sitting in the corner. <laughs> No, please. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Okay. Oh, come on, buddy. Come on. Uh, <laughs> all right. You've got a chance. You I'll defeat you <laughs> one of these days. Oh, one day. One sure, day, yeah. that's... And when I... Well, I'm here until I until I defeat you, and then I, I'm out. Uh-huh. Yeah, 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 yeah. Sure, sure, sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just don't, like, injure yourself too much in this one, because I need you kind of an all-in-one piece, otherwise I'm going to feel a little bit bad being up an old man so many times. But, like, you know... <laughs> You'll be fine. Don't worry about it. Okay. All right. He's gonna die then. <laughs> there the boulder goes back into the ring. Before he goes in, Peachy's gonna nudge Jim and go. So I've got an idea of something that's kind of bitchy. I wanna run it past you. <laughs> I wanna put up like a manifesto on the the ring, um, but the problem is it does kind of. It's like it's something personal to me. But I'm kind of worried because it does mention the boulder in it, and I'm worried he's going to think that it's me trying to shit on him, which it is, but like, <laughs> I don't want him to think that, you know? It would look kind I mean, of cool. It's like, you you own this place. This is your this is your ring. You're like the, the like grand... That. Yeah, you're like the grand, the grand mistress of the arena, so you can do whatever you want. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Thanks, Jim. That makes me feel a lot better. I'm going to do it. <laughs> Alright, cool. What do you put up? <laughs> the letter, the first letter from a fan that she ever received. <laughs> Was this the letter that we were going to read? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yes. And what's, do you want to read the letter? <laughs> if everyone is sitting comfortably, I'm happy, or if, if anyone else wants to read it out. I, Horizon was going to nab this, but also I want to hear it. <laughs> sure thing. Let me find Regale it. Regale us, Kat. Regale yeah, us. give us, give us. It's in the... Find the Google Doc. It's in the Google... 26th of May, this was Ooh, last updated. <laughs> God damn, girl. Jesus Christ. That's upsetting. We're doing this for a while, aren't we? It's yeah. more upsetting than it's November. Yeah. Jeez. Ooh. So this, um, yeah, I'm going to say this is carved in, like, maybe <laughs> wherever she's got, like, her little throne. <laughs> it's, like, carved into the, like, stone, like, well, no, it's, like, you know, it's carved in yeah. somewhere. Yeah, yeah, yeah. In, like, gold or something. <clears throat> <clears throat> Dear Miss Peachy Puff. <laughs> You were so very cool at the Boulder vs. Peachy Puff fight on Saturday. I know not many people were cheering you on at first, but I was, and I think they're all dumb losers for not thinking you would win. <laughs> I think you are so very pretty and kind, and kind of look like a cute goddess. Maybe a goddess of something nice like flowers or kittens. <laughs> the way you handed the boulders own ass to him was really hard. <laughs> I also really liked it when you said that thing about ripping his spine out and shoving it back in where the sun doesn't shine. 
I'm a bit disappointed that they didn't let you actually do that. If it were up to me, I would have let you, my queen. <laughs> anyway, I must go, as my wife is getting really angry. <laughs> I'm being weird and high-key ungrateful to our relationship, but I think she's just annoyed that the boulder didn't win. Do you know any good marriage counsellors? <laughs> <laughs> she keeps asking for couples therapy, and to be honest, I should probably try it. If we get divorced, I'm going to be completely screwed. I don't know how to do my own laundry. Until we meet again at your next match, oh queen of my heart, your loyal admirer. <sighs> Fuck no. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, I'm gonna be safe. In oh, forever. <laughs> candle key. Oh my god, that was amazing. Up to shrimpery. <laughs> About a week later, when this is up and written, Jim is standing next to you and looking oh, at this cool. inscription. <gasps> it's perfect. It's right. <laughs> I think it's good, right? Oh my god. <laughs> next to is the boulder so. as well. <laughs> It was, it was mostly bitchy, but not completely. No, I think I've found my new role in life. Good! <laughs> Everyone needs a role in life. <laughs> anyway, I'll... I'll go and, uh... I guess I'll go and clean up the bar. There yeah, now. if you could do that quick, actually, because, you know, we're shutting... Yes, bitchy, so. yes, of course, bitchy. Yeah, thanks. Of course, of course, of course, bitchy. <laughs> 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 Um, <laughs> no, you try to follow that. And um, <coughs> and Peachy stays in Candlekeep, oh, conducting amazing fights, reading as well. Yeah. Right. Growing, becoming right. quite the intellectual. Yeah, and learning many, many things and many topics, and becoming quite an accomplished librarian. Alongside starting Candlekeep's uh, first fighting ring, a fighting ring that becomes <laughs> known all throughout. Toril and uh, <clears throat> great gladiators from all over come to come to partake in your uh, magnificent fights. And uh, Peachy, as you look down upon your work, you feel you've left a true legacy. <laughs> and thus ends the tale of Peachy Puff. <laughs> <laughs> I got to use Our my admirer's favour. Didn't know if I ever would know. <laughs> um, Dido. Dido is going to apply for every university in the world. <laughs> every good university. <laughs> She's got standards. She's got standards. Uh, I see. Okay. 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 Okay, so, you send off tons of applications, you send off like seven or eight <clears throat> to the, this is the equivalent of the, like, the Ivy League, uh, the Russell Group uh, selection, and uh, specifically in, uh, in study of the stars and the astral plane. Yeah. Yeah. And Druid studies that, you know, yeah. The astral plane, yeah. Hmm. Space. Fuck it, she's an astronomer. Space. <laughs> space. She's gonna be an astronaut! <laughs> 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 yes. The world's first astronaut. Fail. What's it called? Fainal? What's the, the planet called? Or the land? Oh, uh, the, the, the like planet is called Toril. Oh. The land is called Faerun. Faerun. Mm. Like, say so Faerun's first astronaut. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> No, that's, that was gonna be Stonky Jane Noptop, I'll have you know. <laughs> no, it'd be fucking more. Stonky no, dead. He's fucking dead. We'd <laughs> fucking kill him. Um, and you send them off, and you don't hear anything for months. And it goes past the date where you should have heard something, and you begin to feel really disheartened. You're sitting in your <laughs> uh, in, in your room in your in your in your home. Your uh, your mums are there, and Dolores says, "Oh, honey, I'm sure they'll." 
I'm sure they'll get back to you soon. No, I didn't get into anywhere because I'm an idiot. No, <laughs> no, they just get so many applicants. If you don't get in, you, I promise it's going to be fine. Like, you, you're still... You're still Why didn't you our send me precious to little schools? girl. <laughs> that's the, what we. That's what Candlekeep was essentially. And honestly, you've no, learned. No, that's homeschooling. You can't get a qualification from Candlekeep. No, I. That's just true. We thought you get more world experience, but I look, mean, listen. Okay. You can always apply next year. They get so many that it's honestly, it's it's no, it's they just don't want me. it's just a crapshoot. Honestly, <laughs> it's it's just luck sometimes. And then... <laughs> I remember that she's 18. <laughs> <coughs> Very much so. <laughs> and That's why she's such a dick. Yeah. <laughs> Suddenly, um, your other mother comes in. Yeah. She says... Oh, no. <laughs> um, guys, there's... Sorry, there's a... There's some people out here. In... in just, out, just outside the door. They're in, they're in kind of the hallway area. They, they all want to talk to you. <laughs> well, um, well, um, it's and suddenly the door opens, and a parade of uh, of well dressed scholars march through, fighting each other to get through the door. <laughs> One of them runs up to you. Uh, this old, like, grey haired seventy year old woman goes, Dido Cypher, the one and only. Who's instantly like gonna dry her tears? Like her tears are just gonna suck. Like, <laughs> <laughs> yes, that's me. <laughs> I am the uh, high rector of the University of Luscan, and uh, I think we have a lot to talk about. Uh, we would love to offer you a place on our cause. Not only that, but a brilliant scholarship uh, to uh, to come and do um, do research uh, for your doctorate in uh, astrophysics. We reckon you could skip the bachelor's because <laughs> you've covered that already in your application letter. Uh, you've essentially covered the entire course. So I think we're like, uh, a, 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 a doctorate? No, 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 step aside, step aside. Uh, uh, good evening, I am the, uh, the uh, High Dottore at uh, the uh, Institution of Higher Learning at Silvery Moon. Of course, we have lots to speak about. Of course, you know, Silvery Moon was founded by the goddess LaRue, and you've obviously met... Yes! Yeah. <laughs> we think a lot of our scholars here in the Institute would love to hear some things about... Uh, about you. that ring you've got on your, on, on your finger. That, is that truly... Is that, that does, is that the... Is that the ring of shooting stars that's spoken of in legend yes. that you spoke about in your letter? That's fantastic. I think I think you should come and accept our our offer of tenure uh, at the university, and then uh, the third one comes up. Dino's just gonna like shoot around for anyone in the group who's still in Candlekeep inside her brain and go, "What oh, was Mary like?" That's <laughs> fine. The moon of a ah. unicorn. No, no, no. The the, the 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 goddess we fought at Silvery Moon. Silvery Moon. Mm-hmm. LaRue? That was the unicorn. LaRue, the unicorn, yeah. The unicorn? Yeah. It was the oh, fey unicorn. Cool. How was the uni- fey unicorn? She was great. She was she was fey. I'm kind of biased. Oh, yeah. She was dying last time we saw her, wasn't yeah, she? I know where you stopped that. We made yes. her better. Yes, you made her better. What the fuck? Yeah, cut the light. Yeah, you lost it. As soon as it heard the word unicorn. Oh, yeah. There it is. It's just us arguing with each other. Dido? Dido. Dido. And uh, these scholars and intellectuals from every university that you applied for, and Ooh. some others, um, <laughs> inc- and some representatives of some of the high courts and, uh, and some of the royal uh, institutions, <laughs> gather around you and come with brilliant offers. Many of them for uh, for study. For uh, for scholarships, for tenures, for areas of research, for <clears throat> being uh, astrological advisors to uh, some high-ranking politicians and uh, nobles and kings and uh, and high lords, mm. you are swarmed with offers, and you have your pick of the lot. One of them. As everyone has uh, kind of cleared away and says, "You consider our offer. Consider our offer." There you go, and you are just left piled high with documents. <laughs> you can just see Dido's smug face <laughs> underneath um, all the letters, orders, and little medals, and you've even been granted uh, an, an incentive bonus of two hundred gold. 
<laughs> you just get it. You don't even have to accept that, you just get it. Yeah. It's like the little free pencil that you get. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Is that just like 200 gold? <laughs> I'm doing it in platinum because I can't be fucked to run out. That's fair. Yeah. And um, uh, the final one there, before the leaves, you realise haven't really been speaking <coughs> thus far. Um, it is, uh, it's a dragonborn who turns to you and says, Hello, I'm, I'm, uh, I'm, uh, Magog, um, this, uh, silver dragonborn. Hi. Hi, I'm really sorry, we, uh, the, I, I came to hoping to speak to you and, well, the offer we have isn't as flashy or well paid as any of these ones, um, but um, I'm, I represent a group of uh, a group of adventurers and uh, and um, explorers and well, they came to me. I'm a, I'm an astronomer myself, and they uh, they were exploring an old tomb and found what they think is a portal to the astral plane. And with mounting an excursion, um, we think a guide would be really helpful. Uh, again, it's. We don't have any money, really, so it's, you know, a split of whatever treasures we can find. Uh, but think about it. Here's my my card. If you wanna... How long would it take? How long it needs. When are you going? Whenever we can be ready. How long will that take? <laughs> well, we're ready. It sort of depends on you. I'll consider your offer. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Well, you know how to get in contact with me. Um, that's my address. If you want to, want to write to me or uh, visit me, I'm staying in Baldur's Gate at the moment. So. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. That's away. Uh, and as soon as the door closes, Dolores and Elia go. Oh my girl! Oh come here! Oh, we're so proud of you. Oh, we're so proud of you! You're oh, surprised. we knew it! <laughs> not at all! Of course we're not! Of course we're not! Oh my god! A <laughs> little bit, but. Little shit. <laughs> Whoa! Wow, okay, we are oh. going to the hearth tonight. We're ordering something really nice as a treat. We're gonna go out for dinner. Let's discuss all these options. Let's see. I I really think, I mean, I really think Waterdeep sounds wonderful, don't you think? Uh, mm. The City of Splendors. Come on, let's talk about it. Um, <laughs> Silver and Moon sounded interesting. I do know their god. <laughs> Personally. <laughs> you saved their god. Probably owes me a favour. <laughs> Not that ring, is that the favour? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, so you spend the next couple of days thinking, or maybe you decide, yeah, what, what, what is Dido thinking? <laughs> I want to go up to these kinds and just be like, so... <laughs> Um, this is the list of options I have for the rest of my life. Help. I was about oh. to say, you'll be very pleased with yourself. When do I Does she not? Yeah, yeah, exactly. No, like, extra please. I don't think I know. I think this I'm is like a lot, a lot of places. Holy sh... Holy shit. Fucking <laughs> hell, though, I don't. What's this for? The rest of my life. In, 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 in what way? Well, it's... Oh, well, it's what university I'd like to go to. Right. However, okay. or not I'd like to get a doctorate or or like like a teaching position. Or how or... quickly do you need to decide? Because this is going to take a while to go through. Well, there's one which is just going to the astral plane on an expedition. Mm-hmm. Okay, go to the astral plane. I'm sensing a butt. Yes, but I kind of don't want to go yet. You know, I want to. Uh, uh, Kind of done with adventures. I'm gonna but be I don't want to let them down because they made it seem like the most important one and the one that they thought was right for me, you know? <laughs> what could you tell Was it the last story? one? And yeah. it was and it seemed a little bit like an undercut <laughs> compared to yeah, all the All others. the rest kind of flew by and it was <laughs> this one was just If you don't want to fucking go to space, then you don't have to go to space. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna be entirely honest, I know with your ability you can probably find a time to go to the astral plane whenever you want. Mm-hmm. Or there's going to be someone else that also goes to the astral plane and they will come to you. You can go now if you want. No. Or maybe go on holiday. No, I have, I have another goal in mind. Then go for it. Mm-hmm. 
Ooh. And I want to go to a, the best possible university. Just the most, the like most reputable one, the, the most, most outstanding one. Like the best one. Doesn't even have to be one with fancy scholarships or anything. Just the one that has the very best astrology department. Right. Are you going by like? Are you going by like reputation? Like, you, like, are you going to the Oxford of of of, uh, of fair, or, or are you, like are you like reading into the courses and see what kind of education they're gonna give? It's it's the courses and the education. It's gonna be the ones that I feel like I need more. It's gonna be the ones that I really want to do. Um, I would like to hop up higher than, than MA and BA. <laughs> <laughs> so I would like to go for my doctorate. Um, Dido Cybel PhD. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> Did they, after Dido left, it was just like she made up her mind before she came Maybe in. Like, probably. Did yeah. she just come in to fucking show off all the <laughs> yeah, obligations? Yeah, probably. Dido's ultimate goal. What's the highest position at Candlekeep? <laughs> Uh, root, no. High reader, I believe. High reader. That's her goal. The one above bookworm. Uh, keeper of tomes, actually. Yeah, yeah. the keeper ah, of tomes. That's her goal. The one above bookworm. Okay. The youngest keeper of tomes in history. <laughs> well, there was one that was five, but was possessed by the body of the like, soul of God. <laughs> Techni so. Technically ageless. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, Dido, you accept the offer to study at Silvery Moon. Institute for Higher Learning, uh, which seems to be the best one. It seems to be the, 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 yeah, they offer you a really high position, but they also have a really good education. And, uh, and, after some tearful goodbyes from your parents, you ride off towards Silvery Moon. You spend a wonderful four years there, <clears throat> studying and reading, building up a life, making friends, making enemies, going on university hijinks, <laughs> having a brilliant, brilliant time. Many, many things come fall before you in your adventures. Many encounters, many loves, many losses. But in an astonishing, an astonishing 11 years after leaving Candlekeep, you walk back in Candlekeep, 29 years old, mm -hmm. and the <laughs> youngest keeper of tomes in history. Oh, does that mean I'm full Kesha's boss? Yeah, it does. <laughs> I, I haven't finished working yet. I completely oh. have the same reaction as <laughs> No! <laughs> I'm still trying to earn money. She's going to demote me. <laughs> Fuck! No, hang on, no. It Eight. took me ten years. Ten years, no, ten years from, I've come kind of ten years from when you killed the... Uh, oh yeah, brother. so maybe, no, no, it took you eleven years. No, I've fucked off. <laughs> <laughs> we, maybe I've come back by then. We'll see. But... Not to work. You... Under you. <laughs> Return to Candlekeep and start a new era in the life of the library. I'm my mum's boss. <laughs> <laughs> and thus ends the story of Dido Cypher. <laughs> Piece of shit to me. <laughs> Horizon. So... <clears throat> With these guys' permission, I'm gonna commandeer the the fortress. Yeah. Yes. Largely for the sake of the growing population of Skittles. <laughs> <laughs> I'm also gonna work to integrate them as kind of like helpers around Candle Keep, so they can kind of like fetch books. I train them to hold the, them so they don't damage them. But they can kind of go and fetch them. They can be like security. <laughs> and there's just an increasing amount of them. <laughs> they breed like fucking rabbits. Yeah. Uh, eventually, you begun uh, transferring skidwaders out of Candlekeep yeah. because uh, they they're just too many of them. So they start you start uh, you start. Uh, giving them off and selling them off to others so they can uh, help out. Yeah, I'm, places, I'm very careful with who I give them to. I yes. run, run thorough background checks on them first. <laughs> very thorough background check, very yeah. No, background uh, having a skitter widget becomes a very esteemed thing to have, uh, <laughs> and it's a true mark of being... A horizon skitter widget. <laughs> horizon yeah. skitter widget. 
Um, and um, and yes, the skitter widgets kind of they, they become a staple of candle keep. Um, as uh, Dido is sat uh, at her <laughs> at her desk um, in in the exaltation at the very top of the spire, skitter widget is there um, handing her quills and inks and uh, assisting her with her <laughs> writings. Folkish. <laughs> as you're bent over the nether scroll reading intently um, <laughs> keep interrupting me <laughs> you see a skid would just poke you with a big book that has been uh, it's, uh, that has come over for you oh fuck thanks <laughs> I still don't know what you're saying to me but it's cool <laughs> and uh, Peachy as you're sat in watching a fight <laughs> of your, in, of your <laughs> real bloody thing happening there <laughs> in your <laughs> throne <laughs> A full on meal. A tray. Yeah, yeah, a little tray of like TV, cup of tea or something. TV dinner. Yeah. <laughs> a glass, a glass of wine. Let's be real. Yeah, it's a goblet of a goblet of red. A big goblet. <laughs> <laughs> Encrusted in gold and gems. <laughs> you've got your, you've got your, your uh, hoofed legs up on uh, on a little footstool as well as you're as you're lounging and observing this fight. <laughs> this is fun. <laughs> Just kill it harder. <laughs> <laughs> I can't take any more features. <laughs> um, so, I'm I'm gonna I'm gonna intermittently in kind of like a season in Candlekeep and then a season kind of travelling because I want to I want to bring in more books. I I want I want to be finding more books not just on the material plane. I want to go to Feywild. I want to go to Mechanus just because the fucking skitter widgets like that's that's scratching an itch. Um, yeah, she's she's plain hopping where she can, and I know it's going to be a lot of magic, but she can't wish anymore. So she's probably going to get I can't remember what it's fucking called, but like yeah, plane of travel or whatever it is. Mm-hmm. And she's she's like Candle keeps all her home and her base, but yeah, she's she's plane hopping. Okay. Oh. <laughs> At some point, Peachy takes you. Um, takes Horizon home to her home. Oh yeah. <laughs> this is very dear. She, she goes to the Feywild a lot. <laughs> yes, that is a primary <laughs> stay with Peachy's parents. <laughs> you probably see them more than Peachy does. <laughs> <laughs> they adopt you. Yeah, how is she doing? Is she still get people killed in her? Ah. Uh, uh, good old Peachy, Peachy who never changed. The kill count is rocking up. <laughs> 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 Accidental deaths, she called them. I know better. <laughs> it's amazing that they all happened when a great axe is involved. Oh dear. I should also note on plane of travels, there's going to be a lot of creature adoption. <laughs> oh, I, I assume. <laughs> You're going to have a zoo. Yeah. yeah. The castle is going to be a zoo. Uh, it's, a, it's a menagerie. It's. Yeah. it's Oh, horizon's yeah. Her, 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 horizon's horde is magical creatures and some non magical creatures. I need you to roll five d twenties or or a d twenty five times. Okay. I need five different d twenty numbers. Roll five. Ten. Ten. <laughs> you fold the first hole. Uh-huh. Twelve. Twelve. Five. Okay. Get go. Go a second. Um. Yep. <coughs> Seven. Seven. One of these will work. <laughs> Eleven. No <Never> mind. <laughs> it's going to be in the same place all the time. <laughs> you take twenty d d twelve psychic damage five dies. times. <laughs> yeah. It's amazing. You take a hundred d twelve. <laughs> <coughs> Nervous now, I'm gonna die. <laughs> Again. Ah, <I'll> come back. <laughs> Apologies, I do need. To, I need some quick research before I no, uh, good. send I you off into this. I've, I've blindsided you. Do you want me to? Do you want me to do the the kill counts? <laughs> no, I want that to you be, want the, that to be the, the very thing. final thing. <laughs> the scoreboard. The scoreboard. <laughs> scoreboard. Oh my god. So, Am I dead? You're not dead. <laughs> you um, become Candlekeep's 
chief um, authority on the planar travel, considering oh. how much you've done and how much you know about the Feywild and uh, about planar travel. Did we? Oh, okay, no, okay, okay. Wait. The camera's frozen. The camera's frozen. Wait. It's not, no, it's not. Some, I'm, I'm, I'm just frozen. Wait, are we still Axel's live? Frozen. Are we still Hang on, let me, I can double uh, Well, no one's, wa no one's watching the stream right now. Well, yeah, I am. We're looking, we're looking. Look, look, look. um, Did it die? Uh, I can see us, we're still alive. <laughs> Axel's still frozen. Still oh no, if you, you can see me. It's been a No, there we are. Pissed. Yes? Let test test. <laughs> this is such a fucking candle keep thing. If you uh, restart your cam, if you disable your camera and start it again. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. On a little. <laughs> no. Nope. Oh, our chat isn't. Oh, there we are. Oh, um, yeah. The delay is quite massive. Well, it always that's is. About, I think for Twitch, that's probably. Oh. Um. It's fine, it's fine. I think I got it. I think I've got it. Yeah, we've got hey! it! That was fucking horrible. I'm so sorry. <laughs> Everything just went black. Hey, we're back. Hey, we are, I love that the chat's back. so small, it's just like a line. <laughs> yep. Okay. Right. Chief something into plane of travel. Yeah. <laughs> Christ, yes, let's get back into it. Sorry, uh, lads. Yeah, big, big apologies. Um. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Your extensive study has uh, made you uh, become qualified enough to be promoted to great reader of, uh, of the Great Wheel of the Plains. Oh, shit. And from here on begins a life of adventure. You travel to the Feywild many, many times. Sometimes with Peachy, sometimes alone. I keep Paige with me. But yeah. always, always with, with Paige. Paige. Always with Paige. Paige. <laughs> you, uh, in the Feywild, encounter strange creatures, boggles and red caps, quicklings and corrids. And uh, some beautiful places and some dark and hideous. But with brilliant, brilliant memories that you return with. But that is not the only place you go. You also travel to some of the strangest and farthest places in the multiverse. To Mechanus. Where you and a squadron of uh, skitter widgets <laughs> are seen surrounded by monodrones, <coughs> duodrones, and uh, a vicious <laughs> pentadron. <laughs> That surround you and try to take you to the uh, to the uh, great tribunal of Mechanus. But through your daring adventures and uh, dashing escape, you manage to slip out of their grasp and uh, return with a uh, disc of interlocking cogs, which, when uh, unlocked, when read pro properly, can tell you some of the deep secrets of the universe. This is a great addition to uh, Candle Keep's library. You're welcome. <laughs> One portal you find <clears throat> take you to a familiar place, to Mount Celestia, <gasps> the <laughs> Grand Mountain of the Angels. Oh, shit. You go in and go, nope. <laughs> <laughs> no, we like, well, this is a temporary visit. <laughs> you have heard that this is the place of one of the greatest texts in the multiverse. The Book of Heroic Deeds. The, the book, book of Horizon. <laughs> the book where every great action by good creatures is written down. Say the Bible. You stand before some of the great solars and planetars of Mount Celestia and request this noble book. They say no! <laughs> Please! Hang on, weren't you supposed to be in here by now? Yeah, but I'm not. Well, now I am, oh. of my own volition. 
which is how I do things. Can we convince you to stay? You're a bit of a no. bit of a living legend here, if you forget my... Uh, yes, and I can start to stay <laughs> living. Yes, yes, yes. Talk to yourself into that. All right. Um, you can't have the book of heroic deeds. My no, we can give you this pamphlet on <laughs> life in Mount Celestia. <laughs> And this golden scroll of radiant writing <laughs> of the words so beautiful that they can't, can, you cannot quite comprehend their deepest meanings and they require centuries of study to, um, to unlock the meanings of. So that's just a little handy guide to some things you can do here in, uh, in, on the peaks of Mount Celestia. Um, I'll take it. Yeah, just take that little scroll. It's, Thank you. Right, now unless you want to die, you See should... You <laughs> Bye -bye. Bye. <laughs> that was a threat. The nicest threat. <laughs> now, unless you want to die, and look at all, we've got a water park. <laughs> <laughs> Travel to some darker places. You find yourselves in the prison plain of Carceri. Carceri. A plain full of deep bogs, treacherous jungles, and dark, dark dungeons. We're in the, uh, in the perilous catacombs of this plane. You are stood alone with a torch amongst a swarm of unending skeletons that swarm towards you. As soon as you blast one down with your firebolt, another appears from out of the dirt and out of the darkness. For a moment, you've lost sight of your companions, of your friends. But behind you on the stone wall, a little brick is pushed through <coughs> and lands, and you see a little book face appear in the opening. I am so proud of you. I'm coming, I'm coming, I'm so proud of you. <laughs> and the, you push aside some of the other bricks and you disappear into the walls as the skeletons claw after you. Bye, you appear suckers. in the treasure chamber where the uh, fabled, uh, where the uh, fabled uh, treacy of, uh, of necrotic deeds that you've been chasing after is found. You grab it and return to Candlekeep. I'm gonna not tell Falkish about this one. <laughs> <laughs> on another one of your journeys, you are found on a bloody <clears throat> battlefield on the war plain of Gehenna. Mm. Enormous orc-like Creatures, but tall, enormous, are uh, are trading blows amongst smoke and the clatter of spears and war cries and screams. Storm giants. <laughs> Lightning bolt. <laughs> Lightning bolt. Lightning bolt. You duck into the captain's tent. And acquire their battle plans. <laughs> Holy shit. Plans that uh, lay out. Obviously, you can correct any of this. No, this is great. Um, <laughs> the um, uh, battle plans that set out the next millennia of uh, combat on this plane of never ending conflict. They probably kept a copy of this, right? <laughs> <laughs> Page goes. <laughs> <laughs> Not our problem. <laughs> Page comic relief. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, you continue. And you return to the material plane um, with nary but a scratch from uh, these <laughs> war blades. And you also find yourself in one of the most beautiful places you've ever seen the Orchards of Arcadia. Ooh, this a is nice. Ooh. Beautiful, luscious place. And when you return, you uh, find you return not only with uh, a collection of fine tomes, but a menagerie of brilliant animals, fairy dragons, squirrels that are about this size. <laughs> you guys are welcome to go with the menagerie anytime you want. You know, free, free, free petting zoo. Fairy dragons. They're all friendly. friendly. There's a freaking yeah, sure. just a floof ball, just like a ball yeah. of fur. Uh, tribble! Which has, yeah, it's basically a tribble. This has li little little eyes that are hidden amongst the floof. No arms, no legs. It's just a ball. That's a, that's a puffle. That's a club penguin oh puffle. puffle. Okay, there you go. It's a puffle. You don't know how it lives. You have never seen it eat. <laughs> it moves when you're not looking at it. <laughs> but you have it. <laughs> Every 
now that I kind of hug Paige and like, you're still my favourite. <laughs> <laughs> you will always be my favourite. The purple's plotting that. <laughs> <laughs> Where else? Did the Great Horizons travel, Kenny? I meant that as a rhetorical question, but you're welcome to answer it. <laughs> Wherever. The, the, the one other thing that she wants to do is, uh, in, in Candle Keep, is establish <clears throat> a magical bakery. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> like, it, it's, it's like, it's like baked goods, but like, one will give you like, little, little magic effects. Like... Your footsteps sparkle. Well, yeah, there's, 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 there's like aesthetic ones and there's utility ones. <laughs> and, yeah, so this this one you can like, I don't know, you get a bonus to a particular ability. That one makes your footsteps sparkle. This one you grow flowers in your hair. There's little things like you identify quite a mm -hmm. notable um, notable gap in Kalki's market. A lot of adventurers need both provisions for the road and some things that can help them out in battle, and. This bakery turns into a sprawling and rich and vibrant business. You've visited frequently. You always take a little pastry with you on your journey. <laughs> well, because if you want some extra cash, you can help out behind the counter. Have you got any that make me read quicker? This is taking <laughs> no, but, fucking no, ages. No, but that's a challenge. I can make. I can try and make one. It's taken me like I've got 29 days to get this. <laughs> I don't know how much longer I can do this. <laughs> The fucking long scroll well, is really good. If, if you give me a week or so, I might be able to figure it out. I'll come back to you in a week and we'll see how we're doing. Okay. <laughs> I know how to make it now, but I'm needing <laughs> That's what the extra two uh, bits of intelligence gave you. Yeah. yeah. Opening my mind to greater secrets. So, you have a br brilliant business uh, with this bakery. You have. Uh, Many, many glorious pets. <laughs> Paige, the skit of widgets, and the rest live up on this uh, on this uh, floating fortress, this floating cloud castle, which has now become a veritable like free roaming zoo, <laughs> where these animals are living and thriving and just enjoying life. For the first time ever, when you visited there to add to the menagerie, you see this brilliant collection of animals. You see the cloud giant ghosts smile. Aww. I was going to ask how they were coping with it. <laughs> They're all like... They're still going about their business, they're still doing the things okay, they did before, but they seem home. happy to do it now. Yeah. Yay. In between that, your adventures take you far and wide to the uh, deepest places of the world, to the highest peaks, to some beautiful places, to some terrifying places. Where did her travels take her to? What adventures did she behold? Well, that's a story for another time, mm -hmm. and thus ends the story of Horizon. But you can't say the B word around Horizon, <laughs> Beholder. If we, <laughs> one, one second, one quick second, travel back in time a little bit, several years back, in fact. <laughs> At a quite crucial point in your lives. You are standing by the Emerald Gate that leads from the Court of Air into Candlekeep. And there five people meet. Peachy, it's the opening day of your uh, fighting ring. You are <laughs> excited for what this venture is to give you, but uh, you know, you're not sure yet what it what it's going to what it's going to provide. Dido, you have accepted the offer to study at Silvery Moon University, mm -hmm. and you will take uh, you will depart on your journey towards there to study there for four years. Horizon, you are setting off towards your first journey towards the Feywild. You have identified a Fey crossing. You have taken up some tips from Peachy, but you also know plenty yourself, so <laughs> you know what to expect. You and uh, you and Paige are about to about to head off, and Falkish. You have your skull with you, ready to set off to revive your brother. Hiltoffel is there as well. Hiltoffel has packed many, many bags. They're all bigger than him. <laughs> and, uh, He's coming with all of us. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And uh, the five of you 
meet at this gate, knowing that you're not going to see each other for quite a while. <laughs> Hilltopple says, Well, like I said, it's time for uh, me to retire. You know, many of you are staying in Candlekeep, so I hope you'll at least keep the spirit of Candlekeep confidential alive. Oh, yeah. I don't think it's, I don't think it's killable. No. <laughs> no. We certainly are. Oh, yeah. No. 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 no, 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 no. I certainly <laughs> feel like, yeah, 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 fair. I hope you have a good retirement. I hope you don't do any work. Oh, I am not planning on it. Good. <laughs> it's this little, little village outside of uh, uh, outside of Baldur's Gate where I am planning on uh, just relaxing and having quite a, quite a calm time. I know there's a little little uh, little pleasant community there. They all know each other quite well, and I'm going to teach them all magic. <gasps> Dino and Falkesh are looking at a map and like this one. We keep stay away from this. That's, that's <laughs> what he's talking about. That one, yeah. That's what that there one. are like five different villages. That yeah, it's like all. Just avoid all of them. Well, yeah. You're not studying any of them, are you? Well, um, I my coach is leaving, but um, I'm very proud of you all. I've, I've been a librarian for a hundred years, more than that, and uh, I think you're. Possibly my greatest accomplishment in this group. Aww. Holy shit! You are probably the thing I'm happiest to have left behind in this world. And I was an international super spy. Oh my god! I fucking forgot about that. Super spy! <laughs> international. Super spy. Fuck. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. Jeez. So, um. Thank you. Why did, why, why did I remember everything about Bernie and you guys forgot? <laughs> I didn't remember that. I didn't. I, when he said he was retiring, I thought he was going back into the spy world. Cheese work. Well, I told myself I wouldn't cry. But... Oh, it's so, you got you got the invitation to the you know the the opening Boulder fight. It's in a couple of months, but you know. You're, yes, you know, yes, you're, of course. You're more than welcome to. I got a good course. spot for all of you, so. I'll be there. Oh, you. Bet your bottom I'll be there. Oh, shit. <laughs> right. <laughs> <laughs> Goodbye, Peachy. Bye. Goodbye, Horizon. My hilltopple. It's been a good time. It's been a very crazy time. It's been a good time. Mm. It's been a good time. Goodbye, Falkish. Yeah, goodbye. <laughs> <laughs> He's desperately trying not to show emotion. He's dying in <laughs> Eye to eye, but uh, you can't say. Well, I'm really going to miss you, Dido. Thank you. Good luck. Thank you. <laughs> Hilltopple waves goodbye. I think that's the nicest thing she's ever said. You see <laughs> Hilltopple walk off through the gates of Candlekeep. Oh, thank God, that's over. There it is. <laughs> He's gonna have a good retirement. I hope so. He's gonna be not near this one, so. Oh, yeah, true. No thanks. No, no it's reasonable. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Well. Oh, I'm coming shit. to your fight. Oh, thank you! Assume, assuming Feywild doesn't fuck me up time wise. Oh, it's. I know how it is, trust me, it's yeah. fine. It's it's very loose. I need to make sure the bowl is still up for actually coming yeah. over here. But if I know, see him if I see him, I'll send him a message. Oh thank you. He's not been replying to mine for a while, so you know. He's he might have blocked you. Uh, he has a few times. I always find a way around it. Mm. Um mostly because you guys are really good with magic. Yeah. That's really Is that helpful. what we've been doing? Yeah. Hmm. Yeah. Thanks for that, by the way. Um, so he'll be there to get beaten the shit out of, but you know, it'll be fine. I've got you guys great seats. Thanks. I just need to do some more decorating and get Jim up into his back. Looking forward to it. <sighs> well, I'm going to be in fuck all else, so I might as well watch. How much, oh, how much do you want? I can't fuck. I don't know. <laughs> you money. How much you earned? Not enough. Not enough. I mean, like I said, if you want to help out the bakery. No. And if you Maybe. want to help out in the ring. 
Mm-hmm. I um, could just cast the spell if you like. No. <laughs> <laughs> we still don't have the. We still need the money for it. Well, we could all pool. Mm-hmm. Nice. I have to speak for yourself. I'm not. <laughs> I'm keeping this. <laughs> yeah, in in the time it took Forkesh to earn that, Peachy's earned it like ten times. <laughs> <laughs> fuck it, into that. Like maybe Forkesh did it once and was like, "Why well, am I not allowed to use spell?" And then he got punched in the face. You'll <laughs> <laughs> be fine. Oh. <laughs> he's already, he's already in the oh. It's like the rematch him against the bookcase. <laughs> Fucking straight away. <laughs> Dum, oh my god, you bring out the broom to clean up after fun! Broom, broom. I thought the last bit when you were doing the hill topple bit was going to be the broom. <laughs> the broom. And I wasn't going to say anything because I bet he had something planned. I'm so sorry. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> he either really did have something planned or he feels stupid for not having something planned. Well, you'll never find out now. <laughs> Oh, yeah. Never know. Never know. It's been a really long epilogue, Paddy. We've, <laughs> we've all had like half an hour <laughs> in <laughs> exits, which, are, which is good. Uh, I'm sorry. It's good. We're finishing it off. No, I'm loving yeah. it. We're finishing it off properly. Yeah. It's fucking gold. <laughs> mm-hmm. So. Oh my god. <laughs> wow. Well, yeah, it's up to you. Life. Life. People are really going to be doing shit that isn't beating up guards at the moment, huh? And it feels, still feels kind of weird, but kind of cool. Yeah. yeah. I'm kind of... Yeah. This isn't the last time we're going to see each other. Oh, no. No, I'm here for a while. Yeah, you're here for a while. You're sticking <laughs> yeah. around. I'm in and out. You're off the... Are you coming back for the holidays? Mm, maybe. Maybe. We'll see you around. Yeah. We can't bother you at university. Mm. Don't. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure I'll be back. I promise I'll be back. <laughs> Please don't come to my university. Uh, we, we're not cool enough for your, 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 your new uni friends. No! <laughs> <laughs> I'm hurt and offended. You should be. Do you want to skip a widget for you? Would you? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> and if anyone gives you shit, you know where I am. You can just send them my way. And I'll beat the shit out of them for you. <laughs> I, cool. I've got a... <laughs> A baby skittle widget. Kitter widgets? Kitter widgets. <gasps> yeah. It's so sharp. We <laughs> 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 have to starry form so it doesn't do as much damage. I thought you were just going to give him like a tin can. It's going to become one. And... It's going to be one. <laughs> like a transformer. Just <laughs> put, it in, put it in water and it'll expand. <laughs> Like one of those little dinosaur things. Yeah. Mm. It's building yourself, kid. Right. Are you all stocked up and ready to head off? Or are you still? He's still learning, huh? Oh, you're still, you're still free for a while, huh? I did. I. I, I, I did I, phrase it as you. You have earned it, and you're oh, yeah, about to I've, leave. I completely fucking forgot. That's okay. <laughs> we can do whatever you want. Well, did, did, yeah, I've still got like a couple of years. Left. You sit. Yeah. yeah. I've got to go back to work, otherwise Bertha's gonna be pissed. <clears throat> Shut up. <laughs> shut up. Didn't say a Super word. shut up. <laughs> Did not say a word. What is the nature of your and Bertha's relationship, by the way? It's not dissimilar. Say hi to Bertha from me. It's not dissimilar <laughs> to what happens in the ring. I'm not saying a damn word. <laughs> I'd imagine Bertha is a combatant in the ring quite oh, a yeah, few times. Oh, yeah, she's one of the top fighters. Top fighters yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. I win a lot of money on Bertha. <laughs> <laughs> huh. <laughs> Also, you guys have an open invitation for planar travel anytime you want to come along. Oh, that would be you. lovely. Yeah. yeah. Oh, I've got a winter solstice holiday. From the planning adventure. Yes. Do you guys want to come? Ooh. Come on. Yeah. Sure. Get, get yeah. the team back together. Okay. Sounds like a plan. Let's do it. Let's do Just it. Avoid places with. Gods. Yeah. I mean, okay, so here's the thing with planetary we don't have full control over it, so we might just kind of end up where. Fair enough. I... It's not dissimilar to what so we've been right, doing. I have that like... spell too, so we could just. Keep oh. fucking trying until yeah, we yeah. get to a ski lodge. It's fine. <laughs> you spend one, if it's someone we don't like, I'll do it. Yeah. We'll work it out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll work it out. Mm. And we'll have a great time. Yeah. My belief is that that never happened. <laughs> <laughs> They were never well, in the, we kept, we kept trying to plan it, and yeah. none of us ever had times at the same time. Yeah. Incorrect. <laughs> it was always very early. It happened. Yeah. It's canon. It's happening. We have to see each other soon. Three years later. 
Oh, come on! Oh, why haven't we gotten that holiday done? That's gotta happen. <laughs> and it does happen after a year because I, I, I need it to happen. Yeah. 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 That is left left for the viewer and the and the listener to decide. I'm not going to say goodbye for you guys. <laughs> no. Bye. But also, kill count. <laughs> but after the session, Damn it. I haven't finished yet. I gotta go. Um, I already said I'm late. Get some but... shit done. So I'll see you guys later. Um, Stay in me? touch. Yeah. Yeah, I'll be at the fight. Yeah. Oh, I'll nice. also be at the fight. You going back to the fight? Brilliant. If I can, I might have some deadlines. Fair enough. See how oh, I, I, I can just hop back whenever I like. Yeah, fuck same. I got you guys nice seats out of the blood splash. So okay. I travel yeah. through roots. So I'm good. Yeah. <laughs> We've got the, we've got the tree and can keep these come through. Sure, yeah, yeah. yeah, we'll be fine. So we'll be back for the fight. Cool. I'll get a plant and I'll just have like a fast travel point for my bedroom. Perfect. Sounds excellent. This sounds great. I've really got to go. Yeah, oh, no, she yeah. can be really mean when she's. Oh angry. god, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, boy, you like that. that. See you later. <laughs> Shut. I heard that. <laughs> Fuck you guys. See you later. Bye, Fungus. Fungus is off. Fungus walks away. I need to feed. Um, most of them, so I'm gonna... Oh, yeah, good luck. You need to feed everything. <laughs> yeah, I need to feed everything. <laughs> uh, um, I got burnishing to do. It's a lot of wood. <laughs> I've got to keep packing. Oh, oh. Stay safe. Stay safe. See you all soon. Take care. See you around. Peachy's running in with, like... I'm assuming Jim is around. So like, Jim, we got a shitload of work to do. Go on, this whole ass. I don't even think I know that. And he's just got this huge, like, red, like, like training <laughs> dummy over his shoulder. I know, I know, but like, I can't carry anything right now. I just have my nails. <laughs> All of the workers are like still on break, and they were supposed to be back like two minutes ago. Holy shit! Okay, well, I'm getting my axe. I'll be right with you. <laughs> <laughs> You're just in the dish here. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking Christ. Why is okay, let me keep you from? And Peachy runs away. I'm gonna fly up to the, uh, to the fortress and start feeding my ever growing menagerie of darlings. You start feeding them, <laughs> you feed them plenty, and yep. you make them very happy. Yep. I take care of my horde. Yep. Yeah. And Dido, you finish packing. Yeah. Say a very <laughs> tearful goodbye to your parents. Hug them deeply. They are crying. It's up to you if you are. But yeah, they, are so definitely crying. they are definitely crying. <laughs> They're like, ooh, take care of yourself. No, no, you send a message the moment you arrive, okay? Yeah. All right? Beautiful. Now, now, now make sure you, you know, don't hang out with any sketchy crowds, okay? You can take care of yourself. <laughs> do that for That's year. what you're worried about. <laughs> I'm, I'm worried about a lot of things. My little girl is moving out. I know you've been to quite a few places in the last <laughs> year. I'm just gonna miss you. I'm gonna miss you too. I'm gonna hug you. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> so two of you are leaving. I mean, I'm well. I'm gonna. I'm. I'm up in the Castle. fortress for now. Whenever that. Am I getting a lift in the fortress? I can give you a lift in the fortress. Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna do a lift in the fortress. Shit. Okay. <laughs> Why? And I had an ending planned uh, that didn't involve the fortress. Go for it. I mean, I can drop you off and then do some shit. Yeah. Sure. So, Dido. This is a vehicle that people look cool being dropped off in. The, um... <laughs> she just drops out. Cloud Fortress. <laughs> lands next to uh, a tavern by the side of the road, a couple of miles out of Candlekeep. This is where this big cloud keep lands, where a, uh, a coach is waiting for you, horse, drawn and cart, that you are you hired to take you to Silvery Moon. Yeah, that no, makes complete sense. Like, I, you absolutely wouldn't do that. I'm just <laughs> really nice. Shit. It's fine. You, you already hired them. Like, you wanna? Yeah, we you wanna see you indulge me in this. Yeah, in I know. I don't get into the cloud castle. Then yeah. I just, I just go off in a carriage. Okay. Thank you. Sorry. <laughs> you wanna see as important I, as, I just... as possible when you get there. Yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah. Fine, so, I can, out like I can become a dragon in the carriage. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, Got to carry all the so, baggage. There's not much room for that with all the animals. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, Horizon, as you fly off in the Cloud Castle, Dido, you settle down in this carriage. You see them in the back. The coachman is sat there and going, Oh, hello there! Off to Silvery Moon, yeah? Yes, please. 
please. All right, all right. Well, we'll we'll head off then. It's uh, quite a long journey, so make yourself comfortable. You're looking around amongst the seating, amongst the balls of hay back in this corner, and you see a strange thing. Lying there in the carriage in the back is a broom. Very familiar. Just lying there, leaning up against the side. Everything all right back there? <laughs> She's gonna poke. You poke it, it goes moves a little bit with your finger, and then it moves a little bit further. I'm gonna take some crumbs out of my pocket and just sprinkle them in the floor. And you see the little, what were they called? The straws on the bristles. On the, bristles. The bristles. <laughs> Slowly creep over, over the crumbs. And it can't speak. It can't say anything, but you somehow understand what it's saying. <laughs> yeah, everything's fine! Oh, wonderful. Wonderful, wonderful. How All right. big is this carriage? How big is the carriage? Yeah. Well, it's a normal, normal carriage. Okay. <laughs> I thought it was a carriage. You seem to be, like, it's a car. <laughs> <laughs> I'll get the same thing. No. It's, it's, it's a basic... Decent size, like, yeah, but decent size carriage, yeah, exactly. Like with Hayward, you're sat in the back and uh, up front on the little... little okay. Okay, yeah. Mm -hmm. The thing. He says, all right, all right, very well. All right, well, best head off. Silver Moon, it's quite a distance. Oh, and if you get bored, I think there's... Uh, there amongst the amongst the, the stuff back there, you should find an old book or two. If you want to have a read of that, I... I recommend I'm probably preaching to the choir, but there's... <laughs> find every good book holds a good adventure. You never know what you're gonna find when you open one. <laughs> Story of our lives. Mm. Yeah, they're all right. Suit yourself. Mm. And... Yeah, open one of the books, fuck it. <laughs> the carriage drives off throughout the rolling hills towards the distance of Silvery Moon and to even further adventures. Serenading your journey, you hear the, roll, the rolls of the uh, great waves of the great sea. You hear the chirp of birds, rustle of wind in the trees, and a little song, a little, little traveler song churned out by the coachman as the carriage rides along. Journeyman, I shall always be Ten million stars for company Great islands, low and highlands Oh, where'er the road may call Come follow me, wayfarers all And that's where we will finish our campaign. Woo, woo, woo. Woo. Is that the same one that you... Yeah. Did you? Did you see it before? And Estrada. And you thought this would take half an hour. <laughs> <laughs> Two hours and 45 minutes later. Wow. And I had time to go eat supper and come and back. And come back. <laughs> wow. Okay. Woo. Woo. Thank you guys for joining. Thank you for DMing. Yeah. You've been great. And thank you to Heroic Maps. Yeah, <laughs> we, have, we have a bunch of... She's <laughs> getting ahead of me. We have a bunch of thanks to get through. Uh, but first, I want to hear who killed what. Right. <laughs> Kill counts. I've only got the count. I didn't take the names of the various things that we killed this time. Oh, no, no, that's fine. We know. We know that Horizon killed the god. So that's yeah, yeah, that's all the matters. Right. In last place, with seven kills, was Hilltopple. <laughs> which is pretty good for only being in two or three... Yeah. Yeah, it's not bad. Uh, second to last place with 22. It's Volkesh. Not bad. <laughs> Next with 23 is Dido. Woo! Solidly in the middle. Yeah. You say that. 
<laughs> but tied for first. Really? With 24. <laughs> it was Horizon and Peachy. <laughs> we were lit for the last like for the last like five or six sessions. We were all basically neck and neck. Wow. It's like we'd nice. like creep up and then someone would catch up and take over and yeah. then. But the fact that we we were all basically within one of each other. No, that's, that's amazing. amazing. Yeah. Holy shit. Damn. So that's we were stunning. all. Badass. Yes, yeah. let's pretend that Peachy was there for all of the sessions <laughs> <laughs> and didn't miss like... I had a lot of time like, to catch up on. Six <laughs> yeah, didn't miss out on like six <laughs> <laughs> Um, <laughs> Holy shit. So, wow. that concludes our campaign. We've got a couple of people to thank. First of all, I want to thank Heroic Maps. <laughs> For making the brilliant, brilliant maps that we've been using today. Not today, but <laughs> not session. today, but every other, yeah. every every other session. session they are brilliant and they will today. continue to be great friends of the show um, in the future. Uh, and also thank you to Incarnate for the odd map that they provided. Thank you very much. Thank you to Tabletop Audio for making all of the music that we're using in this uh, campaign. You guys are brilliant. Uh, I also want to give a solid thank you to... Oh, oh, oh boy. Bill Benham, Michelle Carter, Kelly Lynn D'Angelo, Scott Fitzgerald Gray, Alison Huang, Mark Humes, Jennifer Kretschmer, Daniel Kwan, Adam Lee, Ari Levich, Chris Lindsay, Sarah Madsen, King Mohan, Christopher Perkins, Michael Porkenhorn, Tamor Raymond, Hannah Rose, Derek Rees, Kiana Shaw, Brandis Stoddard, Amy Vorpal, and Tony Winslow Brill Woo! for writing <laughs> Handle Keep Mysteries. <laughs> this brilliant book. Of one shots, <laughs> <laughs> not intended to be run as a campaign. Oh, okay. <laughs> anyway. We ran it as a campaign, and uh, of course, an enormous, enormous. Network error, please try again. Oh, oh God. it is. Oh, 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 are we back? Oh, are we live? Let's have a like. Oh, look at my face. <laughs> <laughs> God, we suck. Oh, my yeah. God, briefly. <laughs> oh, oh, um, oh, it's struggling. Yeah, yeah, it's struggling. Oh, we're getting the back, we're getting the back. Oh, dear. Um, do, 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 do. You can't see if we're actually live. Oh, there you go, now it's come back. It's back. Axel's still frozen, but. Yeah, he is. Um, we're gonna do this, and we're gonna. No, obviously that doesn't work. <laughs> I cannot. Oh my god. <laughs> Handle your fucking mild magic. Oh. <laughs> It's an unfortunate fact. It is, isn't it, Patty? <laughs> it is, please. So. Okay, we're back. We're, we're good, we're good. Hi, everyone. Hello, everyone. I would like to extend an enormous... Oh. What? It might just be my stream. I think, yeah. Cool. I think we're good. Yeah. Paddy, scream if things doesn't work. <laughs> um, I would like to extend an enormous, enormous thank you to Paladin and Gellert. Woo! Who have been here for essentially every single episode we've done. <clears throat> I cannot believe you guys that you wanted to watch our dumb little D&D stream and have been here and supporting us the entire time. And we'll be there for every single episode of the next one. <laughs> yes, you will. <laughs> There's no escape. God, we, we can't even you. end this week. <laughs> we love you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Truly, thank you. Thank you. And thank you to everyone else who has come to watch, and um, everyone else who has swung by and watched our stream. There have been quite a few of you, actually, and yeah. we, we really, really appreciate it. And thank you so much 
to each and every one of you. You guys are some of the best players that a guy could ask for. I am so lucky. Thank you, Thank you DMing. DMing. Now get on the next one. <laughs> We're going on that note. I don't have the book for some reason, I've lost it. That's um, like fucking <laughs> hilarious. Yeah, that's bad. But, we will be back soon with our new campaign. Mild Magic is not stopping anytime soon. We will be taking next week off to kind of gather our, our brains a little bit and get ready. But then, on the 1st of December, that is... That is, um... That is Wednesday in two weeks, or Wednesday the week after next, essentially. We will get, start the first session of Icewind Dale, Rhyme of the Frost Maiden. That is to say, these guys will be. <laughs> uh, I'm not joining for the next campaign. This one has been so much fun. Yes. Thank you, and thank you guys thank for, you for joining us. Excellent. Yeah. Um, and I hope you have fun in the next one. I will not be I watching. Hope it's miserable. <laughs> I hope it's miserable. Because I'm not a dweeb. This is a fucking nerd. <laughs> um, yes, thank you so much, Lucy. You've been mm. incredible. <laughs> you have. And, um, and, yeah, on that note, then, thank you so much for watching. We'll see you in the next campaign. Bye bye. 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 Bye everyone. Bye. Bye.